E E E E E E. No. E. E. The Bouncer!
Yes. Delicious Bosconian jams. A game that, to my knowledge, I still have not streamed. Maybe we'll get to that at some point. <laughs> it hasn't happened yet. Let me see here. Uh, Undead Lion. Thank you for the follow. Gappy Stream. Shadow Base. And Mako Roo, thank all of you for the follows. Space Hoppercopter, thank you for the tier 2 for 46, excuse me, the tier 2 for 92 whole years. Drix Karasu, thank you for the 7 whole years. Mr. Flamey, thank you for the 6 whole years. Ha! Uh Adam Admar, thank you for the raid. We're just getting started. <laughs> <laughs> Hope the stream went well. Fighting Polygon team, thank you for the 18 entire years of Prime Gaming. Uh, Frog Race, the usual suspects. Hit the, oh, you know what? I think I gotta get the, wait a minute. Wait, wait, hold on. I can get the new build live. I've completely forgotten to get the new build on this computer. Hold on, please hold. Richard Endeavor, thank you for 25 whole years. 05 Pro, thank you for the 30 whole years. Here I go. Obtaining the newest build of the Frog Race live. And then I just kind of drag that over. And then I drag this here. And now I should be updated. So let's hit the frog button and see if everything explodes, I guess. All right, we're good. Place your bets now. You're not going broke on frogs this time. I wish you the absolute best of luck. Yeah, thank you, uh, 05 Pro, for the 30 whole years. Thank you, Bridget Endeavor, for the 25 whole years. Danny Maddox! Thank you for the 38 entire years. <laughs> Their channel points API. You just have to ask them really nicely. Steal your parents credit card. I don't think that's gonna get you more new yen for the frog races, unfortunately. That would be cool though. Alright, looks like Loveland Frog and Chuggo tied neck and neck at 30% of this bet. Best of luck everyone. Start the frog race! Frog number two has the early lead. Frog number three trying to play catch up. I don't know if they're gonna get there in time. Ronis wins the race. Made it look easy. That was an easy race. Pay it out. Frog number two. 253,000 new yen given to the nine, only nine, early bird lucky winners today. Congratulations to all nine of you. Last night you played a blank cassette tape with the mime next door went nuts. Very good. All right, condolences slash congratulations to everyone. I'm going to hit the stampede button because a poem has also been redeemed. Hey, stampede, how about a poem? The ancient mist rolls into the streets, bare and dark before the fog. We walk the alleys and passages gathering things. Everyday mundane things, a loaf of bread, a bottle of wine, parts of a meal we prepare together and eat together. A normal meal on a normal night in a normal town draped in a perspiring cloud. I remember my other life with normal memories of a normal time long past. Mm, thank you, Stampede. Yeah, he likes that one a lot. All right. Hi, hello, everyone. Happy Checks Calendar Monday. It is uh, apparently the day that some kind of an eclipse is happening. I'm going to have to probably pop out of the stream for like two minutes to stare at the sun real quick. Because I'm like right in the path of totality. So I'm probably going to peep that at some point. 
and then I'm gonna immediately come back. It's probably not gonna be that long. Anyway! We're here to look at the Super Cassette Vision today. Not the Cassette Vision, which, as of a few months ago, is now emulatable. We're talking about the thrilling sequel, and vastly uh, less well-performing <laughs> Super Cassette Vision. This came out in 1984 by Epic. I believe the the regular one, the Cassette Vision, came out in, like, 1981? The first version of this bad boy? Jim Hein! Dino, I'd love to see you play more retro-inspired games like Cave Story, etc. Not retro, but paying tribute. That would be... At least these days, that's like... Half of all the indie games, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Thank you. Maybe at some point. But there's too many... The, the backlog is too deep. It's too deep, dude. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So in 1981, Epic, spelled E-P-O-C-H, uh, they made the Cassette Vision, 1981, and it was vastly popular because at the time there just wasn't any competition. It's not like there were any fucking other consoles to compete with. So that did pretty well. 1984 came, our, uh, came around, the Super Cassette Vision happened, and this one... Uh, did not do as well. It bombed within a couple years because by this point the Famicom was out and nobody was competing with the Famicom. So this thing kind of came and went. <laughs> it did get a French release, oddly enough. It came out specifically in Japan and France. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to check out as many games as I am uh, able to get working. We're going to be hopping between, like, three or four different emulators for this stream because some games work well in some of them and then others don't. <laughs> I guess we'll just go in vaguely ABC order. That seems like a good plan. That way we can hit everything. Nowadays, the Super Cassette Vision is probably most popularly known for containing the first ever Dragon Ball video game. That's, like... You know, the one fun fact that people know about it. <laughs> Alright, what are we doing first? Let's play some... Astro Wars Invaders from Space. Here's our... There it is. <laughs> That's what it looks like when you boot it up without a game. Video game test display. You get the multicolored rainbow balloons. It's great. Yeah. Alone! Invaders from Space. I wonder what this is going to play like. This game that has to do with space invaders. <laughs> Alright, I've turned it down. We're good. No. Invader from space. Hold on, excuse me, there's just the one invader. That's my bad, that was a typo, there we go. I like what I'm seeing here. Yeah, the sprites look good. Alright, there we go, I've, I've latched my volume control dial onto the video game, we're good. I now have volume control. Probably should have set that up in advance, in hindsight. Press the select key. In this game's case, the select key is uh, 1 through 9 on my number pad, because you have to use numerical buttons to uh, access the different <laughs> settings and such. So we have amateur level, we've got pro level. I guess we're going to go uh, amateur first. Why not? Press the start button. STEP ONE ALERT! Oh, who's calling my phone, dude? Good. Yes. Simple enough. Shoot the space invaders. Although their hurt boxes seem quite small. Here I go. How are we all doing today, by the way? Hope everyone had a good weekend before your ears got assaulted by this stream. <laughs> 
One game in and I'm already sold on the aesthetic of this console. Hey, yes, yes, sir. We should have pulled up the box that this came in. We can do that after we play Space Invader from Space Astro Wars. Wait, wait, I'm kind of cooking. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. Did I win? Did I lose? It's unclear. I think this is good. Who dares? Akari Allen! Well, it's actually really good timing! <laughs> that was such good timing, I won't lie. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. Shit! Alright, you got me. You got me fair and square. Yeah, thank you for the raid. We're looking at the super cassette vision today. <laughs> Why does it make a phone sound? Oh no. Oh, it's a lot faster this time. I see the problem. Okay. Okay, everything's fine. The situation is definitely completely under control. Despite overwhelming evidence to the contrary. <laughs> They're destroying my things, dude. Not my things. Adam Admar. That phone noise was scam likely calling. He's tired of your shit by not answering and is now attacking your bases. That's probably true. That's probably completely true. Alright, I have no idea how to dodge this zigzag. <laughs> zigzag attack. Okay, we're doing fine. Wait a minute. Never mind. I've not mastered the act of... I've not mastered Astro Wars Invader from Space. It's still a work in progress. We're going into pretty much every game today blind. Just trying to... We're, we're seeing what's up. Oh, no. Oh, it looks like he leaves. I wonder if we're intended to kill him before he leaves, or if we just... Or if it's like, objective survive until he leaves. We'll just keep going until we game over, I suppose. Yo, mayo cats! Maybe the invader from space would stop invading if we didn't call him every stage. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Thank you for the 100! Uh, thank you for the 100 bits. Shield's down, it's fine. I'm saving the Earth, dude. Somebody's gotta save the Earth. About to ace this shit, check this out. Whoa. Hey, we got him! My eyeballs only hurt a little bit, so that's good. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no! You got me. Did we get the high score, at least? 
We got the highest score on amateur mode. We should see if pro mode differs in any significant way. <laughs> yeah, this game is pretty tough. Nah, I'm going back in. Going back in pro difficulty. I'm now expertly qualified to stop the invader from space. Okay, so it starts off pretty simple. I like that we can shoot their lightning attacks so that they don't damage the shield that is protecting us. Thought was your phone ringing? You should get a different ringtone, I think. <laughs> what a train! So it seems like you don't lose unless all of your ships get captured. So presumably then, as many ships as you take off into the sky with, that's how many chances you have at the boss? I assume. Oh no. Yeah, that makes sense. He died remarkably fast, I agree. <laughs> Maybe it's because I started shooting at him early like this. <laughs> Maybe that's what it was. Maybe it carried over. Probably not, though. What's up, Simon? We're playing some Astro Wars Invader from Space. Trying to stop two squads of alien creatures from destroying the Earth. Alright, we got there. Eventually, this is gonna become insurmountable. It's a graveyard ghoul. It's going good. We're gonna check out as many Super Cassette Vision games as we can. Ideally, we get to all of the ones that work. Some of them don't work. <laughs> Ideally, we can check out the uh, the whole library, sans those, like, two games. Whoa. Yo, Afro, M.H. Greetings from the path of totality of the solar eclipse. Finally living in Arkansas has been good for something. <laughs> I'm in the same path, I believe. I won't have to worry about that until, like, 3 o'clock, though. Like, 3.15-ish. I'll probably dip out for a few seconds to go stare at the sun, then I'll be right back. That's <laughs> when you get your moon powers. Oh, God. I'm getting cooked, Captain. Are you sure this is enough men to defend the Earth, Captain? <laughs> hey, they missed one. So all we gotta do is not get hit then. How hard could that be? And yo, yo, gear strike. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thanks. I got distracted by the alert. I won't lie. Yo, gear strike gifted a sub to Solar Eclipse. <laughs> There is a sequel to this here video game. Raycat, who dat? 
Hi, hello, it's me. This is the obligatory disclaimer for everyone in the zone of totality. Bring a light jacket. And some uh, appropriately protective sunglasses as well, yes. Somebody asked me in the Discord earlier, I'm not going to name names, somebody asked me if I was cancelling the stream today. <laughs> because of the eclipse. I love the idea that I would call off a whole stream to look at the sun for like two seconds. Alright, here's what we're going to do. We're going to play the thrilling sequel to Astro Wars. Actually, before we do that, let's look at the box. Where's the box? There you are. The Super Cassette Vision. It has two hard-wired controllers with extremely short cables connecting it to the console. So presumably then, you'd have to... <laughs> you wouldn't have this down by the TV. You'd have to put this, like, right the fuck next to you on the table or wherever you've got it. There's just no way <laughs> to play anything with these controllers. Yeah, hardwired controllers. I guess that was the thing at the time, surely. I'm glad it didn't catch on, because it's kind of a shit idea. It always has been. Red, green, and blue. Dude, what a value. Let's play the second game in the thrilling Astro Wars series. Astro Wars 2 Battle in Galaxy. <laughs> Good title, I'm a big fan. Dubstep Paladin! Thank you for the 25 whole years of Prime Gaming. Battle in Galaxy! I've never been particularly good at Galaga. I suspect we're gonna get equally cooked here. Greetings, Helldiver. Now is the time to conquer the invader from space. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna conquer the invader from space. On amateur difficulty, of course. Alright, is this gonna be easier or harder? Let's find out. Oh dear god. <laughs> I found the answer to my question. <laughs> hey, oh, okay. It's okay if I fire in a straight line, inevitably they'll fly into it. I'm a genius. My plan is foolproof. The good news is, I'm not out of lives yet. I'm dangerously close, though. And we've only just started. Oh, what is this attack? Not the zigzag attack of doom. Okay, so I just have to mash buttons through it so that I can get some hits in. I love the idea of the chatter whose name I don't recognize bitching about the Streets of Rage soundtrack. Big fan of this concept. Let's see how it pays off for him. There we go. The good news is we've cleared one stage. The bad news is I don't think we're going to survive much longer than that. Wait. 
Wait a minute, kind of cooking. It's very difficult to get attacks through the zigzag beam of doom. Oh no! <laughs> Wait, this is good? Yes? Oh no, I'm dead. Alright, run it back. Yeah, we are lo we were losing bonus points, dude! Put me back in. Overall, this game is uh, quite a bit more difficult than the first one. <laughs> I find it hard to survive for longer than five seconds, especially during this first bit. Thankfully, the game lets you have more than one bullet on screen at a time? That's good. Uh-oh. <laughs> Their ships are destroyed when they crash into us. True. Am I taking crazy pills, or did that ship teleport right in front of us? That was an advanced technique. Oh, God. They do teleport. Okay. Noted. Hey, there we go. Made for people with legacy skill? I definitely don't got... I got no legacy skill for, like, Space Invader Galaga-type games. Never been a strong suit of mine. Donpachi of video cassette players. You know what's funny is I find Donpachi to be like a perfectly playable video game. It's just every game that came out after it is completely, completely impossible to me. But that first one is a perfectly reasonable game. There we go. Mushi, you may saw stream. Uh, that's next door. That's next door at like BBH's stream or at like Aqua's. Neo Antoine, any of the shmup players on this website. <laughs> Death Smiles? I've never played Death Smiles. I'm gonna be real, I haven't played, uh, basically any shmups once the- once the genre shifted towards, like, anime girl games, right? I barely have played any of them. <laughs> nah, it's not to say- that's not in a derogatory way, it's just an observation. <laughs> Ultimo. Darius Burst is the only shmup I've played in years. Love a good Darius Burst. It has Space Harrier in it. 
I'm pretty sure it's the ultimate god game. Yeah, I'm not knocking people whose, like, preferences are towards those kinds of games. I ain't judging. But I do prefer a cool spaceship. <laughs> I've timed out the boss. I think he's leaving. He decided that he had more, impl uh, more important places to be. Yo, Shadrock! Hey, DNO. Yeah, he got bored. I, I know why you're losing. You're getting hit. That is true. Try not to get hit. You got it. Here I go. Check this out. <laughs> Good timing. Hax Dralian, thank you for the n uh, 29 whole Welcome years. To the fantasy zone. Get ready. Vol Dominator, thank you for the follow. It's all right. We made it to like step four. I'm pretty happy with that. That concludes the Astro Wars duology of video games. Strongest nerd! Blackbird is a very cute and weird recent release. No anime girl, just bad. Just bad. I've never heard of it. Or played it. Or seen it. I think we won the Astro Wars because it loops, yeah? I don't think there's an ending to the video game, so as long as we've seen a full loop of it, in theory, we win. Right? <laughs> the logic is sound. Wait. Eject. There we go. What else have we got in here? I'm just gonna go down the list in ABC order of the games that do work. Boulder Dash! Why not? Boulder Dash is on the Super, uh, super Set Vision. If you loop it twice, you unlock Akuma. That's probably true. I believe you. This is the demo. Boulder Dash is a very simple concept. Collect all the gemeralds, get to the exit. Try not to get crushed by rocks. It's pretty simple. Oh! Damn, whoever recorded this demo is fucking cooking, dude. Digger T Rock did it better. Do you have anything positive to say, or should I kick you out now? <laughs> Just a genuine question. Oh, baby, here I go. Uh oh, Ooh. I've been killed by rocks. It's some fresh beats. Yeah, I'm a big fan. There's a few games for the Super Cassette Vision where the jams are provided solely by the movement of the player character. Oh no. Wait, wait, there's a safe way to do this, I'm sure. Here we go. Yes. Smart Boy plays. Eh? <laughs> So we need 12 Gemeralds to clear the stage. Mylon Secret Castle. You'd be in a lot less danger in that game, I think. Right, we have 14. We only need 12 to clear the stage. So as long as we survive and get to the exit, we're good. Yo, Cathar is OG! 
It's a miracle. We've cleared the stage. Thank you for the 28 whole years. <laughs> His pock is pretty good. Where am I going to find 10 Gemeralds? Moreover, even if we get the Gemeralds, where would the exit be on this stage? Looks like an absolute labyrinth. Oh, God, help! Okay, we're fine. We're alive. That was a good sound. I'm a big fan. I seem to be stuck. Alright, get me out. Yeah, my ears are also not alive. There's some very potent sound effects going on. I cannot... Oh, I can push this. Yeah, yeah, over there. Don't release the bug. <laughs> Tonight is anyway. It's all right. You're covered then. Eh? Eh? Okay. I've not mastered the art of pushing a block. We still have 240 seconds to get the Gemeralds and get out. We should eat the boulders. It would make things remarkably easier, I agree. So is the exit then... Is the exit just kinda hidden? Somewhere? Is it buried in dirt and we have to find it? Do we have to uncover the exit? I wonder. We've made a big mess. Right, there's no way in there. It's back right at the start? Could be. We need to get up in there somehow. But I have no idea how to get in there. We have to... There we go. Every Gemerald is get. Ah, so there is. <laughs> cool. It's a fun little game. I'm in the cabbage patch. I don't like my odds. 23! I'm cooked! I'm finished! Well, that was making a hot ass jam for a second, though. My ears. It's alright. This sounds good. These are good sounds. How do I. Yeah, I don't know what I expected. Just we go, just jump straight into the bear trap. I have no idea. I have no idea why I didn't see that coming. <laughs> yeah, just immediately vaporized. Let's try and clear. Try and clear boulders out safely and methodically. I think I've trapped that one. I don't know if there's any way to grab that. No, you get back here. Cool. It's gonna be difficult to get that out of there, I think. You might even say it's impossible getting dark for you. It actually has not happened yet over here. It's probably not going to be for another 20 minutes or so in my neck of the woods. Oh, 
Oh god. Oh. Right. But how do I... Oh, I see. I've created space. Well, the good news is we have all the other Gemeralds. The bad news is... The only one that's left is completely stuck anyways. There would have been no way to get it. I run it back. Yeah, the way you explode in this game, it's very violent. All the blocks around you are also instantaneously destroyed. This feels like the right way to do this. Yo, what's up, Ghost Lover? Yeah, Boulder Dash Nationals? Help. Somehow I got away with murder there. Yeah, very high pitch. There's gonna be a lot of high pitch noises today. I will contain them as well as I can. <laughs> but there will be high-pitched noises. Help. NES port of Boulder Dash? I think I've played that before. I've definitely not streamed it, though. I don't think I've streamed any version of Boulder Dash. But it is Super Cassette Vision Day. And there is, in fact, I'm dead. There is, in fact, a version of it for the Super Cassette Vision. There are some other arcade ports on here, too. Less than you'd expect, though. <laughs> the version of Boulder Dash where the tick is colored red. I played that one, yeah. Boulder Bash. She wasn't lying this cassette can super. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Dolder Bash, for the dollar he do. Thank you for the one dollar and one cent, my mistake. My arithmetic needs work. Uh, we've got a little bit of a situation here. Unless... There we go. There we go. Kind of get that out of there. Yes. I've solved the problem. I'm almost certain I will create new problems. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> I seem to be stuck. <laughs> I've trapped myself in a box, gang. Well, we could sit here for the remaining 200 seconds. Or we could just move on for the next uh, game, because we got a lot of games to get to. Yeah, wait 200 seconds. I think that's a smart idea. Ah, oh, we get the picture. It's Boulder Dash. What else have we got in here? I'm going down the line, going in ABC order. He's blocking even in his demise. Comic Circus! It's clown time. Everywhere I go, it's clowns. How quickly do these cassettes load normally? I don't have one. I couldn't tell you. This may come as a shock, but this is emulation. <laughs> I 
I've been pursued by clowns my entire life. I, I know exactly what you mean. Alright, we've got amateur level, pro level. Game A and game B. I see. I see, I see. Oh, catch the clown! Alright, simple enough. Are we popping balloons or are we hitting birds? The bird is dead. Either I've killed the bird or I've collected the bird. It's unclear which. So presumably then, our objective is to... Our objective seems to be the birds, not the balloons. He's dead. I did not catch the other clown! He's dead! Bird poisoning? Are you sure he didn't die from gravity? It could be either way. Yeah. Ah! Yeah, so our objective is the birds then, not the balloons. A cutscene! Excellent. Oh no, trampoline stage! We've introduced a third clown. <laughs> I love the little sprite of him landing on the trampoline. Mm hmm. I kind of want the money bag, though. I gotta get greedy, I gotta get the money bags that keep dropping. So this is on amateur difficulty. I'm wondering what pro difficulty looks like. It's <laughs> gonna be all kinds of gnarly stage hazards. Oh? Oh, money back. Yeah, I hope they keep adding more clowns per stage. I'd be pretty happy with that. Oh no. Huh? Huh? Okay. Yo, Simon the Digger. Hashtag Clown Gang. Also, hashtag Box Gang. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. There's one bird left. I must eat the bird. Oh, the balloons came back! I didn't catch him. The hitbox on that trampoline is pretty small. Yeah, leg broken, ankle, ACL, hamstring. I hope that as the stages go on, the trampoline just gets gradually smaller and smaller. Nice double jump. <laughs> With a 
bird's running from me! Balloon! You're back from staring at the sun? Dude, congrats. I'm glad you survived. There we go. Just had to trapeze our way to it. There's a lesson in here somewhere. The pursuit of cash money. Leading to nothing but pain. Oh, I think we've looped? We've done a loop. We have cleared one loop of Comic Circus. I'm curious what game B looks like, then. <laughs> One CC. <laughs> yeah. We do have it on amateur mode, though. We might have to crank that shit up a bit. Struggling to get the first bird. <laughs> How am I dodging the first bird so much? Oh, money bag! There we go, that's what we wanted. Two? The double? Let's go. Oh, money bag. No! Okay, we got him. <laughs> Going after the money bag is gonna get these clowns killed. Yeah, they do. They dance on the rope automatically a little bit when they get up there. Pro mode is bungo. Hold on, let's, uh, let me reset this. Let me see what else is on there, is on this bad boy. So we've got pro level, we have one player, two players, game A, two players, game B, four players, game B. This isn't simultaneous, surely. I know that there's two controllers. Obviously, there's two controllers. The box comes with two. But what is four players? What would this be? Bind all four players to the same keys. I picked it. I don't know what it means. I don't know what I've done. Oh, I see. So now player two is the other guy. <laughs> I see the problem. Hold on, let's try to put this on pro difficulty then. How do I... Yeah, death no longer defied. Usually these are all on keyboard keys, but how do I go down to... The level select. Or do I just pick it here, and then it automatically starts it? Or maybe we have to press 2 on the title screen. Maybe that's what it is. Press 2 here. Oh no, it always goes to amateur difficulty. Usually the difficulty settings are mapped to, like, 5 and 6, so that there's no overlap on the menu screen, because all those are just done with, like, a numpad, yeah? But 1 and 2 have two separate functions, and it's not clear how to access the bottom part of the screen. 
None of the buttons do anything other than start the game. Help. He's dead. Math circus. We gotta, we gotta, dude, we gotta do some edutainment at some point. We gotta do some dank edutainment streams. I don't know when that's gonna be. <laughs> but we'll get there. Uh, we gotta close this emulator. We have to open a really old version of Mess UI. Because Mess UI is the only thing that I got running. The Doraemon game. <laughs> it's going dark. Let me look out my window real quick. I'm just going to let the demo play. Hold on. a little darker, yeah. It's not quite, uh... It's not quite, like, totality o'clock, but... It's getting there. Alright, let's look at this Doraemon game. Then I'll probably have to dip out for a few. I have no idea how this game is played. Let me just look at the demos. He's flying around. He's a little guy. He's a happy little man. We presumably have to collect objects. <laughs> Try not to die, fair enough. Oh, one player, amateur, yes. <laughs> yeah, the wind con, I have no idea. Let's figure it out together. Okay. Look at him go. Oh. Is girl good? Is girl bad? I assume we're avoiding... Oh, hello. Wait a minute. Ah. I've obtained an object. There's another one. Oh. I touched the rat! Yo, Mappy? Just you wait. We might get to a Mappy today. Hammer? Thank you. I see. Girl drop items, then you collect item. I see, I see, I see, I see. Doraemon's some kind of alien? I have no idea. I don't know shit about the source material here. I am underqualified to answer that question. But it is to my understanding this character is beloved <laughs> by enthusiasts. Do I clear the stage when I get them all? Ah! Oh, wow! <laughs> Why are we in the past? There's dinosaurs! Okay. I like what I'm seeing here, though. Ooh. Ooh, give me that. Ooh. I'm in a little bit of a pickle here. I am being chased. I definitely am. Fuck. Oh, you got me.
There is a door there, but I think that's where we arrived from. <laughs> Wait, I have a bong stick! Come here! <laughs> I think it's like a fan, right? Gun? There's an object way up there. Boy? I have collected boy! Ah, we've taken boy home. I see. Okay, there's more. There are more people. Now I understand my objective. Oh, it's not a gun, it's like a flashlight. <laughs> oh, it's a shrink ray, never mind. Can I shrink the dinosaur? No, just the people. It's like a it's like a thing there. Can I grab this? No. Yeah, I wanted to shrink the dinosaur so bad, but I couldn't. Now it's starting to get dark. <laughs> now it's starting to get pretty dark. Let's check out the bonus game real quick. Huh! Yeah? It's a slide puzzle! I'm finished! Wait. Is what I would say. Slide puzzle god. Heh. Heh. Wait. Heh. Huh. Heh. No. Heh. Huh. Heh. <laughs> oh, God, <Turner. laughs> yeah, the game facts page for the slide puzzles. Is that a thing? I could use that. That'd save me so much time. He looks great. He looks just the way I remember him. Wait, this is kind of working. No. No. No, I beefed it. We beefed it, gang. Alright, hold on. Let me go and, uh... Let me go and stare at the sun for, like... For, like, a few minutes. Before I miss my opportunity to, right? Give me, like, give me a few. I'm gonna put it on BRB. Let me just put some music on for you. Hold on. Let me give you some, uh... What's the jam? I'm just gonna put the Bosconian back on, I suppose.
All right, I'm back. The sun has been successfully stared at. It was, in fact, pretty neat. I don't have much... I don't have much else to say. <laughs> I, I, people made a big deal out of it, obviously. And, like, I get it, because it's a rare occurrence. But it is just... <coughs> but it is just looking at the sun. Anyway. Back to Doraemon. It's the KOF 98 intro. True! It was pretty neat. I'm not gonna say that it's anything more than it's, you know, just neat. Alright, let's go back to amateur mode, because we still have to figure out how to clear these stages. It is nice that the stages have differing objectives. We have to collect all the objets for stage one, then we have to rescue people in stage two. Wait. Metal can of something. I need that. Not the rats, dude. Boy? Okay, boy is not death. It's good news. There's an item. No. Give me that. Thank you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> nope, give me that. I hope I don't have lim- oh, no, I have limited ammo. I gotta stop fucking around. No, it's on a timer. Do I have fireworks going off? I sure do. Like, in my area? Yes. Invisible? I'll have to trust that all of these items are accurate to the source material. Yes! Alright. All right, dinosaur stage. So how many people do we have to rescue? Presumably we just go all the way to the left and then we go all the way to the right, and that's both. Boy. Boy is get. This is doing wonders for the music. I love this tune. This game is getting a lot out of its own simplicity. I'm a big fan. Oh, I need that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is this? I've collected something. <laughs> oh, no. How do I make my way to the far right side? Because we know there's another kid over there. We gotta watch out for pterodactyls in the air and T-Rexes on the ground. I need an opening. <clears throat> Your hitbox is enormous! Fair enough. Some crazy shit going on down there with that kid. Uh oh. I'm in trouble! It's really easy to get boxed in. Alright. 
All right, all right. Can I wait for him to go by? No. <laughs> wait, he always goes... Okay, wait a minute. Lure him? Yes? Oh my god, get baited, idiot. There's another one! I'm going around. Scolionage! I was wondering if you were going to play Heiner Karkera Chaotic Eclipse today, but I ain't never said no to Doraemon in my life. <laughs> Definitely was not going to plan a stream around an eclipse that lasts, like, five minutes. That would be ludicrous. <laughs> that game is very cool, though. You fell eat. Marry me with my money. Very cool eclipse. Can't wait till August 2045 for the next one to darken <laughs> the skies for us all. <laughs> 2045. That's all right. You won't have to wait that long. That's only what? It's a few years. You'll be fine. This is a... Uh... How did I survive? Oh, no. Never mind. I'm a fool. I'm a buffoon. Here's a quarter. Yo, Simon! Get out of town. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the quarter. Can't get under five minutes in Super Mario Bros. That is true. Marry me with my Invisibility? Money. Oh, let's go. We've seen how excited people have been over the current solar eclipse. So we have decided to make it permanent just here in Ohio. And Finally. For recent breakthroughs in black magic that now is a possibility. <laughs> I'm glad the game gave me, like, <laughs> the, the baby mode, like, invincibility power-up. Wait, there's the door! <laughs> Let's go! Wait, hold on, who was that? Where's my stream elements? Ohio, thank you for the dollary do. So there's still more, then. It's more than three people. We gotta rescue another person. How are we feeling about this music loop? Girl is get... I think that's everybody. Let's go! Stage two clear! Alright, now what is my objective? Alright, it looks like it's the same. Collect children. Cool. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if it's a child. I assume it is. <laughs> I've never seen Dory, but I have no idea. In truth. We are still collecting objects at the same time. It's possible we have to do both for this stage. We might have to get everybody back to the start, and we have to collect all the objects. Huh. No! No! Composer Money. of this music. Money. Money. More than seven notes a stage. 
sorry I really don't have time with all the cigar smoking and high-fiving going around <laughs> the office. <laughs> I love the idea. I love the idea that that's all he's doing is smoking a cigar and just high-fiving people recreationally. <laughs> That's not a bad gig, right? Alright, let's see if we gotta- we gotta try and clear a loop of Doraemon. Over stage one, all we have to do is collect items. Yeah, the stage one theme has, you know, more than just one looping sequence. It's every stage after it where it's like... Uh-oh. Don't you do this to me, rat! MULTIPLE RATS! I NEED THAT ITEM! Yeah. There we go. Boxing glove! Yeah, we got a fucking rat! Come here. Easy stage. Scoliownage! Doraemon episode 3. Absolutely duffing rats. <laughs> I mean, if all I had to go on was what happens in this video game, then yeah, that's what Doraemon's about, right? What else does he do other than, like, sock rats with a boxing glove? Surely that's what Doraemon <laughs> is all about. This game is all I have to go on. I'm sure it's extremely accurate. I dropped the child. How... Wait. Thank you, that's just what I needed. These appear to make me walk slightly faster on the ground. Seemingly. I cannot confirm this. Yeah, okay, that's what that is. Those are speed shoes. Going smooth so far. Just holding them, don't worry about it. Okay, so it's just this kid and then... And then girl? Are they all on screen at the same time? Can I... Can I just get both? Or do I have to bring them back? Okay, no, I've done a complete loop of the stage. Because the door is here. Any relation to the Watara supervision? No. 
They're related in that the names have the word vision in them. But one is a console, the other is a handheld. They're made by two completely different people in completely different decades, I think. <laughs> How to make right word progress when there are all these dinos in the way. <laughs> no, shit. Frog race has been redeemed. That's going to have to wait. Give me a clear path. Give me a clear path, please. Oh, no! That's not quite a clear path. Aha! There we go. There's a shit ton of Doraemon games, yeah. I've dropped the child. Where'd the child go? Wait. Clip through the dinosaur. There you are. <laughs> yeah, I've dropped the child. Maybe I just loop all the way around. Hit the door on the other side. There it is. Give me in there. Let's go. My gut is telling me that this is the final stage. But I could be wrong. Not the tractor beam! He's endangering the children, yeah. It's helpful to go left in this game, because the screen starts scrolling earlier. When you go right, you get much closer to the edge of the screen... ...before it starts scrolling. Oh, I went too high! Let's see what's this away. Carefully. Child? Child, right? Whoa! Whoa! Thank you for the 18, 17, 18 whole years. There's the door. Only three stages that we've seen, yeah. Not sure what lies beyond this point, if indeed anything does. I need you to go down, thank you. Yeah, if you're watching this VOD on YouTube, please break down in detail how you're feeling about this music. Please use as many uh, adjectives as possible. Game end. They're horrified. <laughs> ah, it'll be fine. But we should move on. There's a lot more uh, video games to look at. It's time for the video game that everybody knows. It's time for the video game that everybody knows is on the Super Cassette Vision.
time to play the very first Dragon Ball game ever made. And where can we possibly find this VOD channel streamer? You could find it at youtube.com slash shit, I don't know the URL. I got you, hold on. Here you go. There you go, VOD channel. Oh, actually oh we gotta actually we gotta do the frog race first before we uh play some Daggeron ball. Wait a minute. Uh, eh, and then mute, and then frog. Oh! The menu sound from air guys has appeared. <laughs> Dumb step, thank you. All right, betting time is over. It looks like most people went with Mr. X and not the menu sound from Air Guys, and that's probably at least partially because most of the time we do see Mr. X during the frog race. He does pretty well. He's a very powerful frog, that one. But can he succeed against these three in particular? Let's find out. Oh, frog number three with the big lead. Everyone's playing catch up. The menu sound from air guys might take it. Stops at the line. He gets there first. The menu sound from air guys has, in fact, every so often, the meme frog does win. <laughs> 371,000 new yen given to 30 lucky winners. Congratulations to all 30 of you. Slash condolences to everybody that may have lost the frog race. <laughs> you have 12 new yen? I'm so sorry, dude. Don't worry, you'll win the next one. And then you'll double your money, and then you'll be at 24 new yen. <laughs> Hey, Stampede, how about a poem? There is a hole in my soul, cut from this oil-dark cloth, folded and tattered and torn. From the hole drips bits of life, fleeting memories, shavings of dreams, grains of me. There is a tear no thread can sew. It is a permanent wound in the fragile fabric of self. Honestly, Stampede, I would just get over it. Sounds like a skill issue. It's very, it's very he was very colorful about it, though. <laughs> Where were we? Ah, uh, yes. Just cut to the demo. Ultimo! Goku no. Look at him go, dude. That's the littlest Goku I ever did see. Yeah, he's got an extremely wiggly power pole. Alright, that's him. That's the that's the demo. Put me in, coach. I'm ready. One player. Yes. Must avoid all the fish. Oh, I have a fireball button. Nice. 
Yeah, he's just a little baby man. <laughs> okay. You don't die in one hit, that's nice. Top right corner, I seem to have three energy remaining. Now I've got two, we need to stop getting hit by shit. We need to use the wiggly pool noodle as best we can. Teacup? Is that poir? Must collect poir. I don't know what that did. <laughs> you eat Chi Chi. I try not to ask questions. I don't worry about it too much. <laughs> We're collecting large poon toes, but I don't know if it leads to an extend or not. Devstep Paladin, that's a whole paragraph. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Vegeta fights the DMV to the death. Unrelated, the Z fighters search for the Dragon Balls. Krillin gets sued by the IRS and Gohan eats non-recyclable Funko <laughs> Pops after his student loan payments get too much. Finally. Goku also shirks his fucking parental duties again like the deadbeat he is. Alright, here's what we're not gonna do. We're not gonna get into the inevitable is Goku a good dad discourse, nor are we gonna get into the inevitable sub versus dub discourse. Because they're both the most boring topics on the planet Earth, and I would rather read anything else in my chat room. <laughs> Polar Vegeta do the taxes. I don't think you could convince Vegeta to pay taxes. I think if the IRS showed up, he would just kind of, he would just eat them, right? He would just eat the IRS. Yo, is that a Yamcha to collect? Only on Toonami, Nissan 350 Z beats 2006 Toyota Corolla in a race. Ooh. Yo, thank you, Ultimo, for the 100 Corollas. Oh? Music has changed. It's getting very difficult to dodge things. I don't remember Goku having to deal with this many bats. Maybe I'm misremembering how Dragon Ball went. Does this game have boss fights, do you think? Looks like we're headed towards one, maybe. Sure is orange. <laughs> yeah, we're just in an orange void. Clearly we've beaten the game. Oh, wait, no, there's more. <laughs> I was about to say, we did it! Vegeta does the taxes, and by the taxes, he just sends them a photo of his scowl and a URL, which leads to a YouTube compilation of smash cuts of him destroying planets and cities while Godsmack plays <laughs> gently in the background. <laughs> he has not paid a dime in 36 years. I believe it. Well, thank you, Dubstep Paladin, for the 100 bits. So it seems like we need to use our fireball to break 
terrain objects on the ground, because we collected what I assume was a dragon ball. Collect Yamcha. Finally, property damage. Give me that beef. Yes, sir. <laughs> was that Chow Tzu? Who was that? Skolionage! I've lived a lot of years, but I have no idea why Goku is blinking. Me neither. Maybe he just does that. Maybe they're all pilafs. Yeah, that's true. Turtle. Am I supposed to interact with turtle? Can I collect the turtle? I can. Oh? Whoa! Infinite fireball mode! <laughs> the Ox King powers up your fireballs. Master Roshi! Come here. Must collect Master Roshi. Oh? Oh, this is sick! <laughs> You'll never land a hit. My nooch is too strong for you. Good luck. Oh, I love his walk cycle. Look at Goku's forward walk! <laughs> it's so good! I'm so fucking invested. <laughs> Skolionich, thank you for the 100 bits. <laughs> eh. Shile Rai. Next time on Dragon Ball Z, elderly abuse. Roshi kind of deserves it, I won't lie. Thank you for the 100 elderly abuse. Yamcha. Love when games have a collectible Yamcha. What does it do? We'll simply never know. Here's what I've learned. Every so often I start flashing and I need to eat food to stop flashing. What I don't know is how that affects literally anything. Noodle weapons, you're not wrong. There we go. Race Mash Brawl. So starvation unlocks Super Saiyan powers? Probably. Who would have thunk it? That sounds correct. I mean, ostensibly he needs to eat for some gameplay reason. It's just not entirely... It's not entirely clear at the moment. Player one, end! I'm going back in. Of course I am. Son Goku. With my money. I heard a lot about these tax collectors and how many fear them. Mm -hmm. This can't stand. I'm going to have to deal with them. I've already located their hideout and prepared a spirit bomb for them. <laughs> Better game than Dragon Power on NES. I'll not be contributing to that discourse, so you'll have to imagine I answered that with either a yes or a no. 
<laughs> thank you for the 100 bits, and thank you for the one uh, one dollar you do, Son Goku. We gotta see how many stages there are. We have three Son Gokus. Presumably that's what the S's are. And we have three energy remaining. <laughs> yeah, or it could be that we're on Season 3, Episode 3. Up? I've collected an up. It is Typhus. Get hungry, short stick. Oh, I think you're right, dude. <laughs> the capsule exploded. Wait a minute, I think you're right. <laughs> Hold on, let me eat food. Let me collect food, see if power pole go up. Amateur melon. Alright, apparently we need to eat all the food we see. Like it's goddamn Adventure Island. Ah, that is what it is. When he's hungry, power pole go down. When he has eaten, power pole go up. The streamer understands gameplay mechanics. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. It seems like he doesn't go hungry if we're not shooting fireballs. But also, why would I not constantly shoot fireballs? My assumption is that stages, there's probably not that many stages in this game, given how long they all take to get through. Shit. Do I think this is on par with the NES or better? Not sure if serious. It seems like people frame questions a lot at me to get an answer that is clearly me saying that thing is better than another thing. <laughs> You're gonna have to go... You're gonna have to go to another streamer to get those kind of takes. I'm just in... I'm just, uh, enjoying myself. <laughs> Who's my favorite Dragon Ball character? If we're talking, like, OG Dragon Ball? Yamcha. If we're talking everything past that, Bardock. Okay, so I collected an end, and then we died. <laughs> There's an end you can pick up. <laughs> There's a game over object you can pick up, and then it game overs you. <laughs> That's pretty sick.
All right, so we gotta try to get better with power pole. What I've learned is that every time we attack, it propels us upwards with the power pole. Even if we are holding down at the time. And that's got me into trouble a lot while I'm trying to retreat while swinging the power pole. It also seems like one press of the attack button is quite a lengthy animation. So we don't need to press it that often. The arc where Goku fights the end text was always my favorite in the <laughs> franchise. <laughs> I know! Wiggle waggle. We do be, uh, waggling a bit. There is a lot of wee waggling with this power pole. Oh, dude, you know what we gotta play? We gotta play the Dragon Ball game for the Wii. There was a Wii one. Metal Max bait! So many hooks in this ocean, streamer. People need to reel it in. <laughs> it's okay. I'm used to it. I've been streaming for quite a while now. People want me to opine on things, but I'm actually not that interested in opining. I'd much rather just enjoy the video game. <laughs> I think it was Revenge of King Piccolo. Yeah, I think that's right. There was a- it was a Wii one. It was like a Wii Dragon Ball game. Which species of coniferous evergreen is my favorite? I think palm trees are pretty cool, but I don't have any around here. <laughs> Shile Rye! Not sure what opining is. I just subscribed to Snatcher. True. Don't worry, there'll be more Snatcher. Soon enough. The Ohio palm tree. I don't even know if palm trees are a coniferous evergreen. I don't even know the nomenclature, dude. Oh! I shot a fireball at Yamcha and Chi Chi appeared. You're a spruce man? Okay, so when I read your message, I misread the word man. I thought you said man. And there, I, th I thought you just invented a fighting game where all the trees were playable characters. You're also a spruce man. That'd be dope. I'd play that fighting game. Are you kidding me? We might get out of stage one without dying. We might... we just might. <laughs> they just stand and do nothing! is throwing these swords, I must know. What's the bit with the cloud? Well, Goku's got a cloud. Supposedly, anybody with a pure heart can ride the cloud. And Goku generally is a nice boy. Thus, he has the cloud and he rides the cloud. I think that's right. It's not really any more complicated than that. <laughs> Well, you don't have a pet cloud? What is this, amateur hour? I'm in trouble. <laughs> That's true, we're just playing games on amateur difficulty. That's universal throughout 
probably over half of the Super Cassette Vision library. Journey to the West, it sounds fake and made up. That sounds like some Dragon Ball fan fiction. Am I right, lads? Nineteen seventy nine monkey series. Can't believe it. I can't believe they went back in time to rip off of Dragon Ball, dude. I'm running out of Goku's. Scolionage! I can't ride my Nimbus anymore since I played a cracked version of SF2 Turbo from <laughs> Hong Kong that runs on my toaster oven display. Oh, I'd be cooked. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't be able to ride a flying Nimbus. Are you kidding me? Give me that Ox King. Yeah, I know. We're emulating games right now, dude. We got no shot. Must collect Master Roshi. Yes! Unfortunately, no. This is not a legitimate Super Cassette Vision that we're playing this on. It would be nice, though. The hitbox on this kick is pretty absurd. Oh, but he's got a crazy kick, too! I will rush you down. <laughs> yeah, I need a two-player mode of this. What if that is the two-player mode? Could be. You felly! It's amazing how much Dragon Ball went from another journey to the West like to pivot into a galactic and scientific adventure over a span of a few years. Goku as a mid really had it easy compared to when he hit adulthood. <laughs> Are you sure that Journey to the West doesn't have characters consuming entire planets and such? Maybe you're just not that far in the in the story yet. We can't rule that out. <laughs> Thank you for the dollary do. Wonder if this gets to King Piccolo? I have no idea. We're very likely not going to survive long enough to find out. Kapoor Shafimbriada! Marry me with my money. Eclipse Spider Fact. Many animals exhibit altered behavior during a total solar eclipse. Oh. Spiders among them. For example, some species of orb weaver take down and rebuild their webs every night. Such spiders take down their webs early during an eclipse. I'm learning a lot today. I'll be real. Every spider fact that I've obtained from Portia Fimbriata has been without my consent. But I know a lot more about spiders than I ever have, so thank you. Thank you for the eight dollar dues. Collect poire. <laughs> Tree fighter. Oh, I, I don't think I can pause this video game. Actually, wait, I'm on mess right now. That means it's just MAME controls. Let's go. 
<laughs> yeah. Perfect. Choose your tree. <laughs> I'm just imagining a tree-based fighting game where there's just... The controls do nothing. All the menus work, but once you get in, there's just nothing happens, and it's a time over every fight. <laughs> That's good! <laughs> Thank you, Zanza. I'd play Tree Fighter. I would, I'd for sure, I'd play it. With my money. Hello. We have done our periodic duty protecting North America from the sun. Mm -hmm. As payment, we expect you to put Aunt Bertha on a rocket toward us. <laughs> she must be disposed of to prevent her from attempting to ruin the text-to-speech experience once again. <laughs> Aunt Bertha, what has she done? Thank you, Moon Spiders. She's committed some kind of a crime, no doubt. <laughs> Thank you for the dollar he do. Adam Admar! Cool Duck Eclipse Facts. Mm -hmm. Subaru did a jump. This has nothing to do with the eclipse, it was just kinda cool to see a duck jump. Oh, I've never seen a duck jump. Should the tree fighter timer be 100 or 1000 years? <laughs> I think... I think they would... <laughs> I don't think it would matter, I think the game would outlive us all. The music has changed. Thank you very much to our spider lords. I agree, thank you. Thank you very kindly for the for the facts. Emiratu! <laughs> I'm dead. Finally fighting games are returning to their roots. Yes! <laughs> nice. Nicely done. Alright. Dragon Ball game? Pretty good. Big fan. We do have to play some other old Dragon Ball games at some point in the future. We gotta play, uh... We gotta play the Wii one. And we gotta play at least one of those, like, old card game RPGs, because there's a, a shit ton of those. We gotta try that at some point. We gotta try any of them. Did the Wii one come out in North America? I think so. Yeah. That sounds right. How much do y'all know about, uh, Dragon Slayer? <laughs> I imagine quite a lot of you are quite familiar with the Dragon Slayer series. Yeah, I had a feeling. I was not aware that this was on the Super Cassette Vision. Some good FPS I'm seeing. This is why you wanted to try this system. We're not actually gonna do we're not gonna go very far into this game. Skeleton. Because I do have a plan for the Dragon Slayer series, and it does not involve the super cassette vision. So we're just gonna fuck around with this for a little while, and then we will move on. But don't you worry, we will get back to some Dragon Slayer <laughs> at some point. On a, uh... Different platform. Drag the window over. Put me in, coach. Phase one start! Please avoid the ones about the live-action movie? I've already done a Dragon Ball Evolution stream. That's already happened. You could check the VOD channel. <laughs> Wait. Beat boops on each footstep? Yes? Perfect. Yo, what's up, Sprite Star? No music. You make your own music by just walking around in this. <laughs> so we take the money to the to the store, yeah? There we go. Also, yeah, Dragon Ball Evolution for the PSP fucking rules. 
It's like a reskin of Budokai, so it plays very well. <laughs> the Bouncer. Obviously, people are like, ew, Dragon Ball Evolution, but that game rules. Killing me softly with his song. Dragon Slayer. <laughs> Thank you, Skolionich. It is a reskin Budokai, yeah. We have 8,000 hit points. Wait. I'm out of here. We gotta go collect a sword. Skeleton! Wait. Oh no. I'm getting boxed in. <gasps> Hello! No, I just need to get to that warp point, though. Thank God. I've done it. Yeah, we were getting munched on. It's okay, we got a sword now. There's also a ring here. I believe the ring allows you to just push blocks. Right? I don't know if I need to push blocks here. <laughs> yeah, you can just push blocks with this... Is that a ghost? Dagron. Oh no. He's dealing more damage than I'm dealing to him. What if I go back into the warp point? What does that do for me? Ah, good. I'm in danger is where I am. I'm playing Simon. You got me in a box here, video game. Wait. Wait, chop down the... Yes? Cut down the skeletons. Gaining experience points. Good. Oh, I'm so fucked. I'm so dead. <laughs> Good. Now, regardless of what platform you play Dragon Slayer for, that's gonna happen to you every time. Because this game was pretty, br uh, pretty brutal at the start. It gets infinitely easier past the opening few moments. You have to quickly grab a sword, and then you have to kind of kill shit power up a bit. Put me back in. Step one, take all the money, take the money to the store to get, Skeleton. to get all the hit points we can hold. We do not have a key for these treasure chests. The ring could be useful. The ring can push a lot of things in this game, including the store. Like, say, I don't like where that store is. I'm just gonna move the store. <laughs> Why did your skeleton work? Hold on. Are the sounds working? Let me try one. E. No, we're good. Here, I'll, I'll skeleton for you. I'm gonna give you skeleton free of charge. Skeleton. There you go. I got you. Skeleton. More money. I have one magic bottle. We can cast one spell. Step one is to grab a goddamn sword. Actually, step one is to go and heal before we perish. Thank you. <laughs> Why didn't my design of frog work? It's a masterful gambit, sir. The cross is keeping enemies out, but I also need to go that way, so I need to lure these enemies this way a bit. Need to lure them over here. 
Yeah, is this beat? This beat's pretty hot, dude. We gotta get to that teleporter, because the teleporter has the sword. There we go. And then we can grab the sword, and then we can fight back. Okay, grab a sword. Grab a ring. Oh! Key! That's not quite how I meant to do that. Oh, wait a minute. No, I don't have any way to reach that from here either. How did I heal? I took the money I was holding to the store. That's all I did. You take money to store. What does this do? There's the magic menu. I don't think I have enough money to do any of these other spells. Or I don't have, like, enough potions to do spells. Because usually all the spells are supposed to be, like, assigned to a number, but all I have access to is press 0 for quit, press 9 for key number, which, like, this is putting in a password <laughs> if you got a password. But we don't have one. Yo, what's up, Mikey? The good news is, we have a sword, so we can fight back. Where is this? Whew. I'm out of here. Take me back to the start of the map, please. I think this is a, I think this is the start. This is the starting area. Oh, you're too powerful. Hold on. Just lure you all this way, so that I can get by. Oh god, help. Skeletons are much more my speed. Yo, the start of this game is brutal. That's more like it. You basically have to level up slowly. Not unlike a high glide type deal, which also came out around this time. Yo, shy, all right. No bones, no bones, no bones. Lots of bones. Skeleton. I believe that the 240 is our experience gauge, so if ever we are. If ever our life bar is below our experience gauge, we can go back to, like, the store and heal up to that point. <laughs> but we would have to do this for a while to power up. Oh, get him. Yes. Must become strong. Oh, I'm so cooked. <laughs> I'm alive. Ah, it brings me to a thousand. I thought it couldn't. I thought it could only bring us up to 320 because that's how much EXP we have. I'm still not sure what that is. I have no idea what this object is. What's the second stat? I think that's like our offense or something. Oh, I'm so dead. Just leave that there. Every other version of Dragon Slayer that I'm aware of, it just tells you what all the numbers mean. <laughs> yeah, it's how much we hit for. Excluding their defense stat, because they have a defense stat as well. Help. Oh, I'm so cooked. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. We'll move on from Dragon Slayer for now, because we will get back to this on a different platform. We got plans for the Dragon Slayer series, don't you worry. But that is not part of today's plan. <laughs> it is a very pivotal video game in history, though. 
very pivotal action RPG, inspired many other games of this type. Yeah, PC Engine? I don't know. Isn't there a version of this on the Sega Saturn as well? There's like Falcom Classics or something, right? I don't think I imagined that. Yeah, the remake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got Sorcerian, Xanadu, all that shit. We'll get to those in due time. I think we close this and then we go back to the other emulator. We gotta go back to this one. Yes. Video game test display. We've gotta play elevator fight. <laughs> Whoops, there's a line break in there. Balloon! Elevator fight, no relation. We're in space! Game is urging me to press the select key. Imagine them remaking these, what, Super Cassette Vision games? That'd be pretty sick. I wouldn't mind that. That's a tall space base. Is that the end? That's where we gotta reach? So I guess we just get there alive. I don't know if we're required to get, like, uh, any objects on the way down. One game. Amateur difficulty, please. <laughs> yeah, please, for the love of God, push the select key. Insufficient building? I don't know what you mean. Every building needs at least 100 elevators. Or else, what's the point? Right? Gun? Must wait for elevator. I don't think I can interact with these, okay. We're just waiting for our ride. <laughs> yeah, they don't like the word easy. They needed something that was like three letters. Ah, there we are. Oh, there's a key. I've obtained a key, but at what cost? Okay, pink. Pink floor means you can fall through it. I'm with you so far. Maybe we do have to collect all the keys. Could be. It doesn't seem like we can interact with these doors in any way. It just seems like enemies, like, spawn from them. Woo! The elevators look like watermelons. I completely agree. My gut is telling me we need all these keys. Because I feel like we're going to miss one and the game is going to be like, you go back and get that key, idiot, stupid, dummy. So we should go do that. We died! Did we fall too far? Are we not allowed to fall that far? It looks like they checkpointed us. Right. Oh, oh watch out for the claw, dude! What's up, Wago? We're playing some Super Cassette Vision today. We're currently being eaten alive inside of this elevator building. <laughs> yeah, we can only fall through the approved falling holes. We're not allowed to fall anywhere else. That's fair enough. Oh! 
Oh, that's neat. Timing on that seems pretty tight. You know, I'm just gonna say it. This seems like a dangerous workplace. So am I allowed to fall through here? Maybe this counts as a new stage, and it all just, like, kind of, it's all combined into one big, like, super building. Could be. This game does make good sounds, I agree. <laughs> No, not that I can tell. We're not- we- it doesn't seem like we can interact with the doors. That was my first instinct as well, just from having played elevator action, but... No, it seems like our goal is to collect keys and just kind of go down. <laughs> the long scroll! I'm dead. I'm so dead. We're gonna need all those keys for something. There's gonna be, like, a gigantic mega vault at the bottom, and it's gonna require, like, 8,000 keys. I can feel it. Oh! Is this good? Is this bad? Alright. Once we're down there, our jump works differently. <laughs> All the way at the bottom, our jump only goes, like, one tile across instead of two. I love the long scroll of the entire stage. It's so good. Alright, so we gotta touch the... We gotta touch the bits... Oh shit, we're not allowed to fall too- we're not allowed to fall too far. We must have gotten some extends, or else the game just gives you like 10 lives. It's very generous of them. I'm not sure which is which. So we really have to predict, uh, when to jump. Yeah, there's not a lot of wiggle room here. You just explode. If you fall, like, one centimeter too far, you're cooked, dude. Oh, no. The problem is we jump and then the platform is like, I will now descend. <laughs> I'm not sure if there's any rhyme or reason to it. No, we can't walk off. The game doesn't let you walk there. Trust me, I tried. Holding left and right, it just makes you point in that direction. You have to jump across. Let's get back down there. Now we know. Now we know how this shit works. The question is, do the keys matter? I suppose. I just learned there's auto fire in this. I can just hold the fire button. That's quite generous of them. Ooh. The keys shut off the electric barrier. Oh, I see, I see. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Yeah, you start with a shit ton of lives, which is nice.
Don't worry, I'm waiting for the same elevator as you, buddy. Ah. It looks like we can still jump that, though. <laughs> like, even without the keys, it looked like we could still make that jump. Your Hotel Mario? Thankfully, we don't actually have to close any doors in this. Me and, uh, me and my, my good friend T5, T-T-T-T-T-S-D, did Hotel Mario on his stream. And the game seems impossible. Not in, like, a, you know, haha meme, bad CDI game kind of way, but just the way that the doors open on their own at complete random <laughs> and you're on a time limit. Yeah, it very much seems to uh, not be for human beings. It's very odd. It seemed like there was a large amount of luck involved. Shown in Sketcher! Thank you for the 43 whole years! This is going much smoother this time. Thankfully, when we approach a ledge, the game just automatically puts the elevator there. All right, let's try this again. So yeah, this is me pressing, like, left and right. You can't move here, you can only jump. There is no running. <laughs> what? All right. All right. All right, all right. Yeah, we must have bonked the side. Good. Uh-oh. We're on a weird cycle here. This platform just does whatever it wants. Oh shit! Okay. So we gotta hit the other button. Gotta hit the other button there and then go back once we get it. <laughs> Rare use of the second button. <laughs> The good news is the jams here are incredibly hot. What are we thinking? How are we feeling about the jams? For this portion of the video game? There we go. We've collected one MacGuffin. This music is making me feel all sorts of things. Mostly that the paramedics have arrived. Yo, what's up, JD Amato underscore? Hey, we did it! Wah! Yeah? That hurt my eyes more than the eclipse did. Did we jump into the core? I think so. We have cleared a stage, though. So I'm content with that. Hold on. 
We gotta keep it moving or else this is gonna be a 10-hour stream. Although, <laughs> I imagine some people wouldn't mind that. Oh, is it that time? Is it time for the real? Is it time for the real shit? It's time for the realest shit? Time for the realest shit on the whole console. Are you ready for this? John Elevator has succeeded in his elevator fight. Unfortunately, he died shortly after from the ensuing seizure. <laughs> Thank you, Mayo Cats, for the 105 bits. It's time for some loop on the third for the super cassette vision. Oh, the alligator. There's <laughs> the cops on top, the alligator on bottom. The little progress gauge at the very bottom. Now, Pitfall is a flip screen game. There's many, many screens. This is one continuous scrolling, like, uh, obstacle course. There's a lot that goes into it, though. I'm a big fan. Alright, so... There we are. We're in the fucking sewer. We, uh, we gotta dodge the gator. We have a punch button. So we gotta punch the bats. There's the cops overhead. <laughs> we gotta not get arrested. They're gonna try and arrest us while we're doing the stages. <laughs> Look at them up there. They're dropping barrels. Collect money, yes! Yes, good. Now the problem is, every time we stop moving, that gator gets a little closer. No! Oh, shit! <laughs> this game's great. <laughs> this game's so good. Run it back. So, I think the entire pink part of the progress gauge... The entire pink bit is, like, where we are. That's, like, stage one. And we have to beat at least that pink portion of the progress gauge in order to get checkpointed. Oh, the bomb hit us! Yeah, the presentation's great. I can only assume this is the first loop on the third game. I could be wrong. I can only assume. Was there one earlier than this? I believe you. When was the Laserdisc game? Because that was also, like, mid-80s, right? Struggling mightily. This opening stage. That's a very powerful bat. You do have a crouch walk in this game. I think it's slower than running, though. So it's, like, not ideal. I'm not sure what, the, what this bomb does. There are all kinds of bombs hanging from the ceiling that we can drop down, but I don't know what that does for us. Shit. Yo, e tanks. Each section of the map corresponds to the color of Lupin's jacket. <laughs> when you hit the green zone, I hope you're prepared to get existential. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm so ready. We haven't even cleared the first bit yet. I think we're supposed to drop the bomb on the alligator. Yeah, that's my assumption is it moves the gator back. 
That's probably what you're supposed to do if he gets too close. I missed! I missed the bat! Why are we stealing bats? I think we're punching them. The problem is, uh, Lupin's normals are... not great. <laughs> Look at the range on this jab. That's a pretty, that's a pretty low priority 5L, right? It is a three frame normal, so we've got that going for us. It's a good Abare button. But you're not gonna win a poke contest with it. <laughs> oh, the crouch punch! Give me that. Give me the money. Yes. Oh, it's at the end of the stage. Let's go. <laughs> You'll never catch me alive, copper. Oh, where's this? Oh! Uh-oh. Oh, we gotta step on it, boys! Not the rocks! Alright, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, we're like in USSR zone. We really are. Who dares? Lucy! Lucy stream! I missed a Lucy stream today! We're playing a... Uh, Shy Guy Gamer, thank you for the follow. We're looking at as much of the... Super Cassette Vision Library as we can today. Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready! Alright, so what have we learned? We've learned that that little divot in the ground kills you if you don't jump over it. That's what we've learned. Don Ravioli, Seditious Venus, thank you for the follows. You have to jump over those gaps or you die. <laughs> he falls that far. They loop on the third the video game. One of the very first from 1984. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm so cooked! Game end. Run it back. It seems like it's only three stages per loop, though, right? That should be doable. Bluto! They were the tier three for the 100, uh... 60... 59... 50... Google's 59 times 3. 177 whole years! <laughs> it's loop on the third time, baby. We gotta try and clear a loop. How hard could it be? I hit the wrong button. I got the buttons wrong. I literally jumped into the bat because I'm like, I'm just gonna jump and then I'm gonna punch. But instead, I just jumped into him, and that's all I did. All right, step one. Memorize the buttons. <laughs> there we go. Now I got it. Ryu! Thank you for the 89 whole years. I'm more afraid of the alligator. I'm more afraid of the gator than I am of the, than I am of the cops. Here we go. Did this come west? I assume not, because the Super Cassette Vision in general didn't. 
The Super Cassette Vision released in exactly two places, Japan and France. So if you live if you live in one of those places, maybe you got this video game. No, I want it. No, I want it. Uh oh, that gator's getting close. Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. Paul Sky, thank you for the follow. You <laughs> died, win. Why France? Good question. The short answer is that the French are weebs. Uh... <laughs> Can I jump while in a crouch? No, I cannot. Oh, I'm in trouble. Oh, we gotta go, dude. Oh! I missed the spring. So we gotta hit those. Gotta hit them springs. Gotta make it to green stage. Pink stage? Pretty easy. Thankfully, a lot of the bats hover at, like, a harmless height. It's not necessary to interact with everyone. Spring? Yes? Good? I'm under attack. Oh god. Oh no! <laughs> we did not have enough room. I was stuck between a bat and a rock and a cop. There's just... There's just no way. That was a three-pronged attack. <laughs> Tell you what I really love. I love the lankiness of the sprites. Around this time, every video game had really small, chunky, square sprites. This game did not do that. At all. They're tall, and they're thin, and they're lanky. <laughs> it's got a style unlike most other games of the time. <laughs> yeah, the knee. I'm committed to clearing a loop. We have to try to clear a loop of this bad boy. Nice. We're gonna need a bomb, quick. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. We didn't have, we didn't have the angle. We probably had to jump earlier and then try to land on the very front of that platform, punch the bat in time. But it seems like <laughs> yeah, it seems like you just kind of get got. There are some checkmate scenarios that you have to avoid. No, I wanted that money, though. Cool. Oh, 
Look at that. You want me to look at a YouTube short? You're out of your mind. I'll trust that it's extremely interesting, though. Uh-oh. Oh my god, that cop is dead! Help! No! Let me click on this. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna click on it. You punch the cops? No. No, you cannot. It would be cool. Oh no, my toe. My toe fell in the crevice, dude. <laughs> he tripped, he never recovered, dude. That's how we're supposed to do that. Okay. No, <laughs> no, he's dead! Rest in rip. Oh, I got too close to the explosion. There was definitely a gap there. There was a gap we could have just kind of hung there in the gap. All right, put me back in. I'm so committed. I'm so committed to clearing a loop of this. <laughs> you were close. <clears throat> we don't even know what stage three has in store. The yellow bit, I don't even know if that's a stage. I assume that's just the end of the game. Yeah, the AMA means amateur in this case. That is the, we're on the easier difficulty, which does not bode well for pro difficulty. I can only imagine how fucked it is. Ah, it does push the gator back. Yeah, look at that. He has a sniper rifle, yeah. Probably. There we go. Stage one? Easy. Stage one, we got it figured out. Stage two seems rough because the, uh... The dudes chasing you are a lot faster than the gator is. You can't afford to dawdle. Like, at all. Every time we jump, they catch up a little bit. There is a Dragon Ball game for this. We've already looked at it, I'm afraid. The good news is, the VOD's not going anywhere. Of 
cool. I'm alive. Let's go. Stage two clear. Grass. Sure is. What horrors await in this stage? Oh, hello. <laughs> what the fuck? Does that or? Alright, hold on. I can't pause this video game. Oh no. Good news is we still have all of our lives. I'm fine with that. Yeah, that collision, I thought I could fit. Thought I could fit in there, but I could not. That's alright. We have a lot of lives that we can spend on data acquisition. We kind of have to wait, that's the problem. We gotta wait for the damn snakes. Oh, yeah. Help. Help. Oh, that's still- we- we have to wait for him to go up even farther than that. <laughs> we gotta make sure he's really out of the way. Okay. Okay, okay. I do have a crouching punch. Maybe I can crouch punch the, uh, the little guys on the ground. Can I crouch punch these? No, they're too small. <laughs> they're too small to crouch punch. Too little a dude. Too small a guy. Yeah, it's not clear what those are. The hitbox on the snake is very ferocious. There is no way to... <laughs> we have to, like... We have to wait. There's just no way. The stage demands that we take our time. Yeah, it does seem like a puzzle stage, because we just- we- there's a lot of shit that we have to wait for. Look at this. Woo! Excuse me. Pardon me. Oh, I don't got that kind of time. We don't got time to wait for that cop. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> We need a prone stance. We need like a like a go prone. It's true. We do need to wait until the cop is like right there. That way they die from the bomb instead of being put back. That's probably our best bet. Oh, not close enough. We gotta make sure that they die to these bombs. Must pursue the path of the most violence.
It's probably the only way to do this, yeah. Let's go! We did it! Oh? What have we here? Oh, I have a gun! Okay, we just had to blow to open the, uh, we had to blow open the vault. Let's go! We did it! You're the getaway car! I'm out of here! See you later, sucker! Oh no, they're in hot pursuit! <laughs> Let's fucking go! Well done, <laughs> yeah, then the game loops, fair enough. Alright, a frog race just got redeemed, so I'm content with, uh... I'm content calling that completed. We did a whole loop. Let's do the frog race, and then we'll move on to more games. That was... probably the greatest game. <laughs> that was probably the best one I've seen so far. Prediction. Set up prediction. Place your bets now! Yeah, just frog. It's him. He's Frog. It's the main character of the Frog race, dude. That's THE Frog. What's the origin of Bullywug? I have no idea. I didn't name any of these frogs. 35% believe that Frog will win the frog race. And that is a good assumption. He is the frog. But there's some stiff competition today. Best of luck, everyone. Who's got the lead? Frog number four pulls away first. Frog not too far behind. Pink Frog still in the lead, trying to hold on to it. That's Beans wins the race. Pay it out to Lord Beans. They've claimed victory this day. Frog number four, 300, uh, 366,000 new yen awarded to 21 lucky winners. Congratulations to all 21 of you. My condolences to everybody who is now hopelessly bankrupt. <laughs> I pray that you can recover in the future. You'll be alright. Probably. <laughs> can I spot you five? Uh, yeah, check this out. Check this out. I'm gonna spot them for five minutes. Look at that shit. 350 seconds. That was six minutes. That was too high caliber of a round. Hold on, I gotta untime them out. <laughs> I put way too much faith in myself to know how to untime somebody out. There we go. I think I fixed it. Wait, no, it's gear underscore strike. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. I can save you. Wait a minute. Hold on. Okay, I did it. <laughs> I can only apologize. <laughs> All right. Moving on ahead a bit. What else do we got on this this silly little machine? Miner 2049er 1984. Good tunes I'm hearing. Presumably, this came out in 2049. Oh, this is 1985, according to the copyright screen. Oh, look at him go. Never mind, we're just seeing images of him. 
<laughs> we'll all be mining in 2049. It could be. It's a Donkey Kong? Not quite. So your objective, as far as I'm aware in this game, is to walk on every single tile on the ground. We have to... Let me see, how do I engage the video game? There we go. Ah! Help! Okay. Yeah, so you see how when we walk, we cover up, or we, uh, we get rid of the, like, lines on the, the platforms? We have to walk everywhere. Our objective is not necessarily just to reach the top, we have to <laughs> completely cover the entire screen. It's a very odd concept. Yeah, like City Connection, exactly. Yeah, it's a walk -up, up Oh my god, the sh movement. No! Nah! He's dead. Ah! Okay, it's fine. Every time we die, eyeball warning. Are they vulnerable when blue? Maybe. I don't ask questions. Let's try it. Oh no, I took too long. They might be. Maybe we pick up an item and then we can kill them. Aha, you are correct. Gamer intuition. Very powerful. No! He's dead. Oh shit. I can't believe it. Let me we uncovered it, it at long last. Splatoon Zero. Splatoon Welcome to the fantasy Zero. Zero. Get ready. Doofy Dude does. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, it's fall damage. We're not allowed to fall too far. Or else we fucking explode. That's alright. <laughs> yeah, I know stakes are high. Every time you lose a life, you get flashbanged. It's a good incentive to avoid dying, right? If you die, hundreds of people in chat get flashbanged with a with an incredibly bright light. One time I fell down an abandoned shaft and broke my leg. It took the rescue services four days to find me. It was a minor inconvenience. Ah! <laughs> Oh no, I fucked it up. I tried to get too close, gamers. I tried to get too close. Thank you, Fiona, for the 100 bits! I misjudged how close I had to get to jump over that guy. <laughs> That's all that was. Okay. Should kill this guy while I've got the chance. Kill this guy while I've got the chance. There we go. Let me just hit the rest of this. You cannot kill me in a way that matters. <laughs> We've cleared a stage in minor 2049er. Oh, those are slides. I see. Shoots and ladders. I understand. Help. Okay, we're live. Thank God. I thought for sure we were about to eat shit and die. Okay. Not too bad. 
Reg! The law of minor 2049 you are Bounty Bob. Bounty the Bob. The Canadian Mountie searing the abandoned nuclear net uranium mine for the evil Yukon Johan and a cave-in blocks the entrance to the mine. Mmm. That is more information than I had, thank you. I learned something just now. Bounty Bob is a good name for, like, a minor 49er character. First six merged. <laughs> Thank you. Help! The streamer keeps forgetting about slides! <laughs> okay. We're on a timer here. We gotta go, dude. I'll take that. I'm not as happy with that. <laughs> Thank you for the clip, Doofy Dude. Now we just gotta hit this pixel way over here. Right? And then we gotta hit this pixel. <laughs> yes! Dan Fan! Remember, chat, A mine is a terrible thing to waste. I agree. I agree, so true. There's an elevator on this stage. What horrors await us in this context? Bone Masher! What did the miner say when he went down the slide? Or shoot? Can I make that jump? <laughs> no! Your bone masher thing for the 100 bits! Oh, wait a minute, he was blue. I'm a fool! I'm a buffoon! There we go. Your mayo cats! The year is 2049. Mining has evolved. Mm -hmm. Pickaxes are deemed useless as miners now only step on divot tiles to make them solid. <laughs> yeah. What are we doing? That is, like, that's a good... I don't... I mean, I know the goal of the game is to walk everywhere, essentially. I don't know what we're doing to these tiles on the ground. What are we doing, exactly? Are we mining them? Are we excavating the ore from underneath them? What is the... What is happening? If anyone asks Dino what is the next game to be streamed, mind your own business. <laughs> Thank you, Dad Fan Sayara! What do you get when a piano falls in a mine shaft? Oh no. You get a flat miner. Let's go easy stage. Yeah, thank you for the 100 bits, Dan Finn. Thank you, Sayara, for the 100 bits. <laughs> Chat's popping off today, I agree. Eh. 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 Who constructs a mine like this? Help. Okay. Dino from the year 2049. Oh no. Enjoy your life past me. Because by the year 2049, all citizens of Ohio were forced to work in the mines. Finally. As the government declared us unfit for normal society. I haven't seen the sun in five years. Honestly? No, I, I see it. I, I No, I get it. I under- I completely understand and agree. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the dollar he do! As a reluctant prisoner of Ohio, I completely get it. All I ask is that when I jump in real life that it makes that sound. 
That's all I really want. No! Nah! He's dead. Oh, I can't believe I lived. Thought for sure I would die from that fall. That does seem to be a common gameplay mechanic of games based on spelunking. Is you, if you fall even like a pixel too far, you just explode. I think Spelunky has that too, where you're not allowed to fall too far. But then again, I suppose there's lots of ways to die in Spelunky. We have to take the ladder from the bottom. Don't get baited by the ladder. It looks like a nightmare. This game is actually super legit. It's more the layout of this stage is challenging. Nah! He's dead. He stopped breathing. Oh no, not gonna get up there in time. That's gonna create problems in the future. That whole ladder on the left, that whole situation is bait. Internet's being poop, you're gonna blame the Eclipse? Honestly, good strat. Good strat, I agree. Good. Uh-oh. How do I get that middle one? Oh, no! Alright, fair enough. Minor 2049er? It's too powerful for me, dude. Too powerful a game. Back to the balloon screen. Damn it. The comforting balloon Damn screen it. of you forgot to put a game in to your super cassette vision. Let's see what else we got in here. We've got. Nebula. Nebula, 1984, for the Super Cassette Vision. Yes. <laughs> I didn't write. I didn't see your puns. I'm sorry. I can only. I can only respond to so many things. Oh, I to see how it ended. Unfortunately, this is more of a rapid fire, whip through a bunch of games kind of a stream. We did beat loop on. We beat one loop of that, so I'm, and I'm happy with that. But for the most part, we're just looking at a bunch of stuff. As for reacting to puns, uh, I find that like, what is a streamer to do? Right? It's an unwinnable scenario. If a if a chatter does like a funny joke, and then the streamer laughs. Two things happen. One, the person who did the joke, they're like, I've done it, I've solved humor, I know how to make the streamer laugh, and it'll work every time, guaranteed, so I'll keep doing the same joke. Or, the entire chat room gets into a humor contest, <laughs> and that's fine, I don't mind. But there's a finite number of things that a human being can react to before it's like, I get it. <laughs> Chicken.
Ooh. Yo, what's up, Goaty? <laughs> you absolutely could tell me the same joke over again, Einzaki. You should, uh... You should you should see some of the streams I be lurking hey, around in. Merry Christmas. Yo, Thanks. Eva gifting Torokasi a sub. Thank you. Thank you very much. You should see some of the streams. See some of the streams that I watch where people just kind of do the same joke. Like consistently every stream. Just assuming it. that it'll be as funny every time as it was the first time. <laughs> it's like, oh god. It's like, what is a streamer to do? What's he, what's a streamer to do? There's just no, <laughs> there's, it's lose-lose, man. I'm liking the perspective in the background. We have, like, vertical, we have, like, vertical parallax when we move up and down. It's pretty cool. Who are you? Wait. Okay, they're shooting at me. Help. Wait. This is fine. Hey. Okay. Oh, there's auto fire. Ooh. Here I was mashing. Love a good Moai head in my shoot 'em up. Gotta have a Moai head. I don't care if it's Konami or not, you better put in a goddamn Moai head. Just for the culture. <laughs> Exerian style scrolling. Exerian rules the arcade game? Yeah, dude. This is a very relaxing shmup for some reason. Is there something about it? It might just be that I don't- I'm, I don't seem to be in that much danger. And so it's just kind of a comfy time. Oh no. It's these guys again. Music change. Did we clear a stage? We may have cleared a stage, I'm not sure. Yeah, or maybe boss time imminent? I'm not sure. What's up, Rav Siege? <laughs> There's three games on the Super Cassette Vision. We're like 10 to 12 games deep into this stream. And we still got the whole back half of the alphabet to do. We're only up to N, dude. <laughs> Help. Okay, we're fine. We're live. Deep Nebula lore. <laughs> we did play loop on the third. Yes, we cleared one loop of it. That game rules so hard. I've only played two loop on the third games. We played the one for the Super Cassette Vision, which is the greatest game that I've ever played. Greatest game I've played so far today, for sure. And I played the one for Saturn, which is maybe actually the greatest game ever of all time. Dude, loop on the third for the Saturn? <laughs> that game is so good. That game is so unbelievably powerful. I'm still thinking about it. We played that at like the end of the year, some sometime close to the end of the year last year. And I've been thinking about it ever since. We're gonna have to go back, dude. We're gonna have to play it again. Okay, so my bombs... ...go down for as long as I hold the button. That's pretty cool. Oh. Huh. 
Oh, look at this building! I've turned it off. I've turned off the building. Good. Yes. Yes. Cool. Bombing run. Okay. I like what I'm seeing here. Cassette vision game called Yosaku. You just chop trees. <laughs> that does sound pretty good. Yeah, this is, a. Uh, we haven't played anything for the regular cassette vision. That became, like, properly emulated very recently, like, within a few... Within a few months ago, right? It was, like, February of this year or some shit. Break down! Excuse me? I'm alive. I'm alive, but at what cost? Whew. I gotta get down. Oh, I, was, I thought you were like giving me advice like I flew too high up. There we go. It may have been a residential building. It's fine. It's probably fine. Uh oh. Ooh. Ooh. My movement speed is pretty slow. Yo, TDX! There's a loop in the third game on Super Cassette Vision. Did Fuchiko look as hot as she does in the, the anime? Chat room. Kill that chatter with hammers for being horny. But also, yeah, that game ruled. 10 out of 10, big fan. <laughs> Thank you for the 100 bits. Chat room, kill him with hammers. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's my favorite bit. <laughs> it's my favorite bit is telling chat to kill him with hammers. They all do the bonk sound. No, I died. That's what I get. That's what I deserve. And yo, space opera copter. Merry Christmas. Thanks. <laughs> hey, Welcome thanks. The thanks for the Get gifts ready. of the goatee. The Sphinx. Cool. Thank you for the gift sub to goatee. That guy Lucas, thank you for the follow. Yeah, you go down in like a big ball of fire. Here we go. You have a surprisingly, like, high amount of firepower in this game. Are you dead? Are you alive? Are you dead? I think it's leaving. This game is fucking sick. <laughs> this game rules. I'm a big fan so far. Yes! We do have it on amateur difficulty, though. We've got it on, like, baby mode. My eyeballs, help! Okay, it's fine. Oh, are we, uh... Did we do a loop? I think we cleared a loop of it. This looks like stage one, yeah? I think we did. I think we cleared the first loop. Yeah, we're back at the start. Look at that. All right, in that case, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving, then. We've done it. We did a loop of Nebula. Now, it was on uh, infant baby child mode. So it's like, it's like a lowercase w, but that's okay. <laughs> this one, I think... This one, I think we had to use... Mess for? I don't even remember which emulator I had to use for this one. Let's run this in... Let's see, hold on. Let's take a look-see. I think we need to open Mess UI, something I never have to use, except for just such an occasion where every other way that you can play this game breaks, except for 
one old version of an old emulator <laughs> specifically. There we go. That's Dragon Slayer. That's fine. We need to uh, we gotta check out Neketsu Kung Fu Road. 1986. Uh, let's see. Where did I put my... Huh? And then file manager... And then, huh? 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 Niketsu Kung Fu Road. Yes. Yeah, Kung Fu is what the file is called. Every other way that I can play this game breaks. If I try to use the actual, like, standalone Super Cassette Vision emulator, game explodes. If I try to use current day MAME, still explodes. Only this old ass version of MESS, which is an emulator they don't even make anymore. Only that seems to run this sort of correctly. And even then, there's no sound? And I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. I don't know. I really don't. That's a good noise. So you can see that there's still kind of problems. Look at him go, dude. Yes! It's him, Kevin Kung Fu. <laughs> there's no sound. I love it. There's sometimes sound, though, because when we kill a guy who has nunchucks, we can obtain the nunchucks. Like this guy right here. Hold on. The oh, bouncer. he's gone. I wanted his nunchucks, dude. <laughs> Yeah, he's shuffling. He's got a good shuffle to him. Cool. Good. Eh. <laughs> nice punch. <laughs> we missed out on the nunchucks. Ha! Huh? Huh. I gotta punch these. Huh. 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 It's fine. It's fine. Everything's under control. Wow! <laughs> Watch out for the bull! Holy shit! Good. Yes. There's a never-ending conga line of green dudes to kill. Yeah, Chen, we only have one life bar. We only have one left. Girl is rescue? Oh yeah, that's a good sound. Okay, we're safe. Oh no. <laughs> the bull just kills you immediately. You have to immediately <laughs> avoid the bull. Oh shit. Okay, so we can't jump diagonally. We have to press up neutral to jump. And then your second jump can go forward. Oh, wait a minute. There's a whole roof I can be on. Okay. Oh, there's a lot happening here. I like that I can stand on the roof. That's pretty hype. I like that I can jump off of the roof as well. Multiple layers to this Kung Fu oh, Road man. TM. Is there a clown <laughs> jumping over the fence? Don't worry about it. It's not important. Trey Blaze! <laughs> thank you for the... Thank you for the two whole years. Oh, yeah, just hang on that note. Just hang on that note, baby. Give me the nunchucks! Let's go! Shirt is off. <laughs> Shirt is off. Nunchucks are equipped. I like that he doesn't take the shirt off. The shirt flies off. It explodes off of him. Who are you? It's Boo One! Heh. Ooh. Heh. No! You got me. You got me fair and square. That's a big lad. That was a very large lad. Yeah, no, this game is sick. <laughs> this game is cool. Come here. Come here, die. <laughs> we got him. 
is he stronger without the shirt on? Look at the shuffle. Look at that shuffle he's got. There's no wasted motion. Dude, there's so much shit trying to kill us. Why is the Kung Fu road so unsafe? Unsurprisingly, everyone seems to know Kung Fu on the Kung Fu road. It's a real problem. Can I jump over him? Can I just leave? I can. I can just leave. You'll never catch me, friend. It's a good sound. Oh no! His name is Kill?! What do you mean his name is Kill? Alright. It's Grandmaster Kill. Look at this nooch. It's a very strong name. Come here. Okay, bait the jump. We gotta bait the jump and then... Oh, got him. Got him right in the head. Almost. His wires are shorter. Oh, he bounced off the wall. It's fucked up. <laughs> you got me. All right, fair enough. Let's run that back. We gotta try and beat Master Kill. But we're gonna need some, uh... Give me some, like, Tekken music. Because there ain't no... There ain't no... There's no sound. Can I get, like, a... Can I get, like, a Dr. Bosconovich? They couldn't get Mr. Death to fight him, so they had to hire Grandmaster Kill. Grandmaster Kill such a good name. Can I get, like, a Dr. B? Yeah. That'll do. Let's put that on kind of quiet. Yeah, match play. There must be a versus mode, right? Oh, the nunchucks, he's gone! I'm the master of the high kick. What can you do? My technique is, impe is impeccable. My style is impetuous. Oh, I kicked the bull? This game rules. Help. <laughs> no! Okay, let me turn that down a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> Eat their children. Most sane Twitch chatter. I gotta be real? I gotta be real, chat room. The super cassette vision? It's ki it kind of rules, dude. <laughs> There's some cool games for this thing. Yes. What were you up to in 1986 when Kung Fu Road came out? I wasn't up to a whole lot. 
on account of not being alive yet. You'll never catch me, friend. I'm too quick for you. <laughs> oh, no, not the pot! Death by pottery. See you later, nerd. If it sucks, hit the bricks. Let's go! <laughs> You'll muck around and find out. Hello, it's me, the clown throwing jars over the walls. Mm -hmm. I am actually trying to have Chen sample our jar jams, but he's not having any. <laughs> Feel free to check out our delicious flavors, including bear grapple grape and shirtless shimmy strawberry. <laughs> Bear grapple grape <laughs> shirtless shimmy strawberry. <laughs> Welcome to the fantasy zone. Get ready. All right, that one got me. <laughs> that one got me. That was pretty funny. Thank you for the 100 jams. I'd buy those. Are you kidding me? That reminds me of one of my favorite uh, fighting game handles. One of my favorite fighting game player handles, Shimmy Neutron. It's such a good name, dude. <laughs> oh, we did it! We cleared a loop! Let's go! One CC of, of a Niketsu Kung Fu Road. I think he played Tekken, I don't remember. There's a lot of very strong fighting game player names. Yeah, there's Whoopi Gold Burst. Shimmy Neutron, Lariat Tubman is a favorite of mine. That's a good one. <laughs> Drew Perry Barker. I know we've already cleared a loop. I've already cleared a loop, but I can't just leave the Niketsu Kung Fu Road. Or can I? We must, unfortunately. There's many other games to play. But we cleared a loop. I'm happy with that. You're close friends with Whoopi Goldburst? Let's fucking go, dude. Happy to hear it. <laughs> Thankfully, I wrote down which game requires which Get emulator. <laughs> Jet Vector, thank you. I wrote down which game requires which emulator because certain games just randomly don't work on one and then it works on the others and it's just lots of flip-flopping all over the place. Uh, this is actually the one I was just on, though. It's time for arcade ports? It's time for arcade port? Pole position 2 for the Super Cassette Vision? There was a two? There was. I have a confession to make. I've never seen Pole Position 1. <laughs> I've only seen two. I don't think there was a one. I think he made it up. I'm ready. Put me in. Course Select, Test Fuji, Seaside, Suzuka. Put me in the, uh, the big, the big oval, please. Yeah, the commercial's great. You were never good at pole position. Me, neither. We do have low and high gear. So we gotta get to about 100, and then we can switch to high gear. Yeah, there we go. Oh, Jesus Christ, those turns creep up on you quick! Okay, okay, everything's under control. I'm a trained professional! Gee- <laughs> Bro, these turns are insane. I thought I was turning to the left. We still died. 
We gotta slam these brakes then when we do this. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Everything's under control. I was slamming the brakes. I slammed the brakes and we still didn't make it. This is the hairpin of all hairpins, dude. Okay. Okay, we gotta hit this real slow. We gotta hit this going like a hundred. Perfect. The streamer has accidentally taken a clean turn. <laughs> it's so sudden and so jarring. <laughs> it's so sudden, dude. Okay. <laughs> We did it. We did it. We took a clean turn, but then we still exploded. I love the racing games where you explode on contact with another car. You don't, like, nudge them. You don't both spin out. You just both explode in a fireball on contact. Suffice to say, we did not, uh... Suffice to say, we did not make the leaderboard. Yeah, contact damage. Let's, let's, let's try that again. Let's try that again. But first, we're gonna need... We're gonna need some... We're gonna need some tunes. That'll do. I'm ready. Alright, so we gotta shift down to low gear when we hit these turns. We can- if we hit it in low gear, it's fine. It's sweet JP in his trans -am. Now, I don't watch much anime, but I made time for Redline, and it ruled. <laughs> I'll tell you that for free. <laughs> the car creeped up from behind. You should. Chaos Fantasy, it's very good. Ugh. We also played Redline, no relation. Sometime while we were on our uh, vehicle combat binge, we were on our car combat kick, we played some Redline, no relation. PC uh, car combat game. <laughs> We have 18 seconds left. I think we've already got a higher score than previously. Not by much, though. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna... I don't think we're getting on this leaderboard, gang. 26,000? Bro, we're not allowed to commit any errors at all. Let's check out the other courses, at least. Let's check out Fuji. Now this, this track actually has what appears to be a hairpin, so we're extra cooked.
the speed that we have to hit these turns is so low. <laughs> we have to hit the brakes so vigorously to make some of these turns. And then there's cars as well, so we gotta slow down so that we don't explode. Better to hit the brakes than to, than, than to explode, but... Neither seems optimal in a race. <laughs> Almost. Oh no, it's the cars from behind, that's how they get you. <laughs> Yellow car is griefing, he kinda is. Whoa! That is a little raccoon on that sign, yeah! I saw him! We can see half of him. We can see half the little raccoon on that sign. <laughs> so we still got about the same score that we got on the other course. I don't think we're going to catch a whiff of any of these leaderboards, unfortunately. Of all the versions of Pole Position 2 I've played, and it's been, it's quite a few at this point, this is definitely the one with the most insane turns. Usually they kind of ease you into them. This game, it is just smash cut to a hard turn, and if you're not already turning that way, you fucking explode. But that's okay. We can try and adapt to that. <laughs> yeah, look at how sudden it is. It is insanely sudden. No, 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 you don't. All right, fair enough. Now we're both dead. What have we accomplished? Other than our own mutual demise. He's back. He's back again. I'm finding this completely impossible. I'm finding this to be an impossible version of this game for aliens. Cars in a bucket mentality. <laughs> We completed a lap, but at what cost? We've completed one singular lap. <laughs> All right, fair enough. And that's only the third course. There's another fourth, even more fucked course.
We played a version of this recently. What did we play this for, most recently? Because I know that we just did another stream not too long ago, Pole Position 2 came up. What the fuck was it? I think it was the Atari 7800. I think that's what it was. Something less. Some, for some reason, this game came up again earlier this year. No, I don't think we've done anything for the 5200. We did a we did a 7800 stream not too long ago. That one was a lot of fun. We got to play Ninja Golf. That's a good question. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Suzuka or Suzu can't. I'm leaning towards the latter at the moment, but that's more an indictment of my own driving ability than the course design. I don't drive real cars, so I shouldn't be trusted to drive fake ones. Can we clear a lap? I just want to clear one lap, baby. It's gonna be a tall order, though. Never mind, we cleared a lap. We're so back. Thing should have caught on. Look at the graphics. I agree. The Super Cassette Vision had. <clears throat> Let's call it stiff competition. When the original Cassette Vision came out, because this is basically a second console, right? This is basically Cassette Vision 2. When the first one came out, it had no fucking competition. It came out in like 1981. Like, what was there for it to compete with? This one, on the other hand, when it came out in 1984, there was a, a weird, there was a weird little guy called the Famicom. And, uh, everybody got the Famicom instead. And so this thing just kind of just died a death. <laughs> because why would you buy anything else? Uh, this one. Back to Balloon Vision. That was the... That's generally how it went. <laughs> Play Pop and Chips. I have no idea what Pop and Chip... Uh, Pop and Chips. Wait, it's an ampersand! Wait, heh, heh. Ampersand, there we go. The Streets of Rage font does not have an ampersand. Yahoo! <laughs> I'm liking this tune. <laughs> yeah, copyright wingdings. Some nice gibberish. Maybe that's a password. This is the demo. What can we glean from what we're looking at? I'm not really sure. Pop and check. If, it, if that's what this is, I haven't played it, unfortunately, so I got no fucking clue. Yeah, that, that appears to be a bonus stage. It looks like you're collecting little birds. One player game A screen editor. Really? I can make my own stages? 
Oh! Cool. Actually, let me not fuck with this. <laughs> That's cool. Big fan. I'm ready. Put me in, coach. Okay, so we are the little green man. <laughs> the entire floor died. Exploded the entire floor. Yeah, nuts and milk. If this is nuts and milk, I haven't played that either, so I've uh, I've got no idea what I'm doing. I assume I have to collect this little guy. I've collected a little guy. Who the hell is that? I'm just gonna let him go by, I guess. Oh no, I'm in trouble. Or am I? Ho ho! Ho ho! Oh, I'm in trouble. Definitely just had a moment of, my brain is huge! Smash cut into, I am dead. Oh, I can push ladders! Big Stompy the Pope, he spreads the good word of stomping. He does seem to enjoy stomping, yeah. Well, let me collect this... Collect this creature. There we go. Okay, I'm kind of understanding. The streamer kind of understands. I need to get up to that right side somehow. Yes. We gotta push this. Okay. That makes me fall down, though. I guess that's not bad. I guess that's not a bad thing. How do I get over there? I guess I have to fall down. Can I create this block again, or did I do this in the wrong order? Oh no, he's back! <laughs> he's- oh, it looks like they come back on their own. Let's go! All right, I get it. I get it. The streamer understands the concept of the video game. Yeah, he just shows up at random intervals to cause problems, presumably. Oh no, I'm so dead. Oh, I'm not dead. I thought I was dead. <laughs> I can push the ladder while he's on the ladder. <laughs> what is this? There's a slight chance that this is not uh, displaying correctly. Just using context clues, there's a small chance that this is like the high score screen and it's not working so good. There's a minute chance of that. <laughs> what makes you say that? It's just a small hunch. gonna let the stompy boy go by? He do be stomping. Stomping a whole lot. It's his favorite activity. You won't come in here. You won't- okay, fair enough. Oh no.
You fool. You buffoon. Wait. Huh. I gotta push the ladder. I'm a fool. I thought they were fools, but then... But then... Oh, that does not last that long. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> That's on me. That's on me. That does not last that long. Let's try that again. There we go. Don't got him. Oh, he created a block. I see. I see, I see. I really need to push this ladder over here. This one. There we go. Did we kill the big guy? I was too busy trying not to die from other air in like other areas. Now we gotta wait for this block to come back and we're pretty much good. Pretty much good to go. I see. <laughs> it's gonna take a bit from the looks of it. Oh no. Do you think this works? <laughs> this is a bad idea, let's try it. Oh my god, it works! I didn't think it would either. I thought for sure I was uh, sailing into my own demise. Oh no. This might take a while for that ladder to clear itself. There we go. Get the hell out of here. gaming. I can reliably clear one stage, but that's about it. <laughs> oh, I hit him with the ladder! <laughs> Somehow he ran into me as well. There you go, got his goofy ass. <laughs> Lots of ladder-based violence in this. You can really beat the shit out of them with these ladders. Good. Easy stage. Perfect. I don't think we're gonna make it much farther. Bonus game, let's go! Oh, now I have a jump button. I've died, I've died in the bonus stage. We're playing as Pop, 1P Pop. Bonus game end. Not enough games have ladder-based violence. All the wrestling ones do. Plenty of wrestling-based violence and or uh, all the ladder-based violence in wrestling games. It's once you veer elsewhere that you uh don't see enough of it. How do I even get in there? Just kind of have to loiter 
Until there's an opening, really- Oh god. <laughs> I forgot he could climb over there! I was like, I'm safe on this block for sure! And then... And then... <laughs> Alright, fair enough. There's one other game that starts with P that we must take a look at. Unfortunately... Unfortunately, we were just talking about wrestling, and there is a game called Professional Wrestling on the cassette super on the super cassette vision, but it's just one of the games that doesn't work. I tried to get it working on four different emulators, dude, and none of them could run professional wrestling, so unfortunately, we have to skip it. That's okay. There is a game that promises an equal quantity of violence. A game known only as Punch Boy. Oh. Using context clues, I can work out what this game might be about. <laughs> yeah, I've tried this on authentic hardware. True! Is Punch Boy chasing that parent and child? Don't worry about it. Don't ask, don't ask too many questions. I do see punching going on. There's a key? There are little creatures that we're going to have to punch. Okay, put me in. Put me in, coach. I, th I know I have a dedicated punch button. This I know. Yeah, there I am. <laughs> oh, I got hit by the rock. Okay, I pushed my I got I pushed the rock and then it rolled back into me and I died. What does this do? Okay, yeah, you hit the button to crush shit. Where am I going with these? Surely I'm putting these somewhere. Right, okay, so they all hatch and then we have to kill them. That I can comprehend. Yeah, they're all eggs. We have to slay the dragons that are hatching. Yo, God is goofy ass. This game's soundtrack is pretty strong. Whatever these noises are. <laughs> oh my God, the way he gets flattened against the wall, dude. I need to hit this thing over here. Yes! Yes, use the stage hazards! Come here. Get him! Yes! <laughs> oh, this game rules. I don't know about the soundtrack so far. The soundtrack is pretty suspect. All right, I got got fire breath. Yeah, this one bar of music, it's going insanely hard. Wait a minute. It makes that sound when I move. He got me through the wall! I can't believe it. I can't believe it. He's got wall hacks. Unbelievable. A poem has been redeemed. Let me try and clear the stage first. Let's try and, let's try and clear the stage. I'm gonna spawn peek. I'm gonna spawn camp that, that egg right there. I'm gonna spawn camp that shit as soon as it hatches. I'm gonna hit the button. Oh, what, what just happened here? Is this the exit? Can I leave? Oh, okay. 
Interesting. Whoa! <laughs> oh, is that like a jump pad? <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. There's a lot going on here. Let's run out this credit, and then we could do the poem that got redeemed. Yeah, we got the jump pads? What is this? What is this? What are you? You're just an obstruction of some kind. Oh, we gotta push the eggs into those. You're probably right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good thinking. Oh, that doesn't seem to work, actually. <laughs> yeah, no, that doesn't seem to work. It is a very mysterious game. Who can say? Who can truly comprehend the esoteric mind of Punch Boy? Punch an egg into the trampoline? That's a good question. There ain't that many eggs left on the map to experiment with. Oh no, I'm gonna land on fire breath! Whew. Oh, it just looks like it just rolls over it, unfortunately. Punch boy, your hitbox! Oh no. I tried to punch him. <laughs> we tried and definitely couldn't reach. Now this is what I call jams. Oh, interesting. Wait a minute, so now I gotta punch that one over there. Wait a minute. Interesting. But what does this do? What am I accomplishing? Huh. Put egg in front of it, I guess. To, yeah, it's probably what we gotta do. It's funny that only one of them works at a time. Hitbox? 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 Okay. <laughs> no hitbox whatsoever, dude. Oh, got him. They're immune to punches, but I'm Punch Boy. That's my only move. How can you? How can they do this to me? Uh oh. Oh, you got me. Yeah, that music loop happens when we move. That is the sound of us walking. <laughs> More specifically, it seems like we cannot punch them while we are facing the same direction. If we sit at a corner and then they turn at us, then we can punch them. But if we're trying to punch them from behind, the game's like, absolutely not. Yeah, see, they have to be, like, facing directly at us. <laughs> Which means we have to, like, camp these quarters. There we go. <laughs> we just have to camp the corners. What is this? I'm liking the, the rushing water on the bottom. That's pretty sick. Oh, I have a jump button now. 
all of a sudden there's a jump button. Not the rats, dude. You got me. You got me fair and square. <laughs> no, the goal here is not clear. I thought for sure that I had to go up to that balloon, and then I tried to grab the balloon, I tried to punch the balloon, no dice. It's a mystery. The many mysteries of Punch Boy. Hold that thought. Someone redeemed a poem. We have to press the poem button. Hey, Stampede. How about a poem? She is my girl. Pearl white, slick and sexy. Never complains, always faithful. She cuts the air like a charging buffalo. In her arms, it's quiet. Her engine whispers to me. It's gonna be just fine. Thank you, Stampede. More arcade ports. It's time for, uh, what emulator do I have to use? Oh, I just use regular MAME for this one, actually. Just regular ol', just regular ol' MAME. Let's see here, and, and then, yeah, and then Super Cassette Vision File Manager Software List. Sky Kid, baby. More arcade ports. I don't even think I've streamed arcade Sky Kid. Somehow this came up first. I have no idea how. Look at him go. Look at that silly red plane. I love him. <laughs> Get the bomb. Push the select key. That's a good sound. Bomb this target, here I go. Woo. We didn't take off fast enough, we're already dead. Yeah, we might have to turn it up a little bit. Let me turn it up. There we go. We gotta take off immediately, dude. Good bullet sound. Big fan of the bullet sound. A oh, loop de loop button. Get to the bomb. Oh, I gotta grab the bomb. It's on the bottom. Yes. There's the base. No. Well, we dropped the bomb on the base still. That counts as a trade where I'm from. <laughs> Get the bomb. Good. Got many such noises. Many mysterious noises in Sky Kid. There we go. Land here. Gotta land right here. <laughs> nice landing. We did it. Good, but you can't rest. The battle is to continue. Fight on. Yes, there's a port of Sky Kid for the Super Cassette Vision. That's what we're looking at. <laughs> You've got me a little outnumbered, I won't lie. Yeah, there's a shit ton of dudes here. It's 
So we're clearing out the skies a little bit. It's rough out here for a sky kid, but he has single-handedly killed the entire population of stage two. Never mind, we're only halfway. music is very... The music does not accurately convey the danger that we're in. This is some happy-go-lucky music for the amount of shit that's being shot at us. No, I don't think it's not jams. I think it's good. I just don't think it's exactly, uh, befitting the mood. <laughs> music. Ooh. Ooh. There's the base! <laughs> you got him! Let's go, dude! Oh, just land here! No, that's not where we land. That's not where we land, boys. <laughs> we land somewhere else. The game told me land here. I'm like, you got it. Here I go. <laughs> Just fucking dies in a plane crash. Yeah, I was past the girls. I mean, they said land here. There's only so many ways to interpret that, right? I don't think that one's entirely on me. Because in stage one, the girls were past the landing zone. So that communicated to me that I needed to land quickly. If, in fact, they were following that pattern, but they didn't. The <laughs> Sky Kid girls were watching. Yeah, see, stage one, you get the landing strip, and then the girls passed the landing strip. So, you know, who is to, who is to say where it was in stage two? But now we know. I've died. I tried to do a silly loop-de-loop, -loop and I immediately died. Lesson learned, don't hit the loop-de-loop -loop button while you're anywhere near the ground. <laughs> Many actual pilots fall for that one. Now, I've played some Ace Combat. I've played some Ace Combat in my time. I have probably died more to my own piloting than I have enemy fire. And I feel that's probably true for most Ace Combat players. They're like, I'm gonna do a sick donut, I'm gonna do a sick loop-de-loop, -loop. check this shit out, immediately crashes into a building. That's me every time, dude. There's a lot to dodge here. The amount of danger that I'm in. Flying a ship has got to be hard, I agree. I don't doubt it for a second. Get the bomb. Problem is surviving with the bomb. 
There we go. Ooh! I missed the base. I think I grazed it slightly. Land here. Land past the gorals. There we go. Stuck the landing. <laughs> there is land here, yeah. I think they're just telling me that player one had a nice landing. I don't think we got an extra life for that. If this game gives you an extend for every stage you clear, that would be unbelievably generous. And there's just no way. That's a Pompadour Diamond. Yeah, we're looking at the uh, Super Cassette Vision port of Sky Kid. It's pretty good. There's a simplicity to this game. And I find it way more playable than, for example, Choplifter? I don't know how Choplifter is catching a stray today, but... Bogies behind me. Never heard of the Super Cassette Vision? Don't worry. It only released in Japan and France. I cannot blame anybody who does not know about the Super Cassette Vision. I will not pursue legal action for not having this knowledge, nor would I expect anyone to really <laughs> know, what, know what it is anyway. I'm glad to hear it die, Roji. Well, this year in particular, I've kind of been... This year in particular, I've been trying to hit some, like, platforms that I've not streamed any games for. Like, we hadn't played anything for the 7800 except Ninja Golf, maybe Midnight Mutants. Love trying to play some, uh... different platforms for video games that I've not streamed anything for yet. Two buttons, I believe, yeah. Bomb this target. Here I go. The pilot's a little drunk. Whoa. Frog race has been redeemed. Let's play out this credit first. Or die trying. Oh no. Oh no. Get the bomb. There is so many enemy planes, dude. You're not gonna believe this, Jean Louis. They all have ribbon insignias. No. Fair enough. What did he get hit by? My theory is that I bonked into a cloud and the cloud was, like, solid for some reason. Some things are France and Japan specifically. The Genesis, or I guess in this case the Mega Drive, there is, like, a French-translated Dragon Ball Z game. And I think it only came out in Japanese and French. Yeah, it's happened a fair few times. You have that game? That does not surprise me.
What do I gotta drop this bomb on? Where's he at? Where's the base, dude? There it is! <laughs> I clipped it! I didn't get the whole thing- Ah! I didn't get the whole base. I clipped it ever so slightly. It <laughs> feels like you're playing Doctor Slump. It checkpointed me past the bomb, so that means we cannot bomb this base. We must let them live. Here's the good news. All the bullets in the game have limited range. Not just ours. That's a billboard. That's a billboard. I thought for sure that I could just fly straight past it because it was, like, facing straight on. But no, the Pac-Man billboard? It is angled so that we cannot slam into it. <laughs> Oh, no. The words game over are obscured, so we'll never know if we game over it or not. All right, fair enough. Sky Kid, 10 out of 10. Every version of Sky Kid is very fun. But we should play the arcade original at some point. We have to do another arcade day. We haven't done an arcade day in a while. While we ruminate on that, hit the frog button! Four frogs stand before you. Only one can claim victory. Good luck finding it. <laughs> Into the gunge. What's up, Mr. Radon? I think Duke Donuts was here earlier, and I, I totally forgot to say hi to him. <laughs> Duke is still here. I'm sorry. I meant to say hi when I saw you. You got eight hours of sleep instead of three. Let's fucking go. You love to see a well-rested streamer. Me personally? Couldn't be me. Uh... <laughs> That's good water. Uh, Akuma, mocap by Ernie Reyes Sr. 35% of this bet. The Gunch, not too far behind. 26, it's still over one quarter. Best of luck, everyone. Who's got the lead? Two, three, and four, all kind of even. Frog number one pulls ahead. Wait a minute, they're all catching up. They're close to the line. Rick Drift gets there first. The frogs finish. In sequential one, two, three, four order. What an upset. Only 17% of this bet was on the frog that won. That means that the 21 of you that chose correctly just got fucking paid. Congratulations to the 21 lucky winners of the frog race. My condolences to the probably 100 or so people that did not win. It's all right. Uh, what you can do is you can take your new yen, right? And you can just, like, hand it to me, like, under the table. Just tell me which frog that you want to win. Just send me, like, a Twitch whisper, right? And then we can, we can work something out. Don't tell anyone I told you that, though. It'll be our little secret. Back to the super cassette vision. It <laughs> got a bum five off you again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Let's play some, uh, we're getting to the end of this, actually. Let's play some Star Speeder. Super Cassette Vision 1985. Where is the balloon cam? Balloons, yes! Nice, comfy balloons. I feel like every game console should have had a Technicolor balloon screen if you turned it on without having a game in. I feel like they should all have this. Be pretty good. Let's see, I need to boot up. <laughs> Revive lag switcher, I have the goods. <laughs> ah!
Yes. 3D, dude. Whoa. Oh, it looks cool. Now, I haven't pressed the select button yet. Yeah, 3D objects in space. To the best of my knowledge, this is like a racing game. Yeah. It's not like a shmup or anything, but... To the, to the best of my understanding... Yeah, course select, we've got the fantasy course, the adventure course. And it's like a racing game. <laughs> Winning time. Okay, so that's the time to beat. 119. Whoa. Good sound. Alright. Found the accelerate button. Okay, I do have a shoot button. Turn left, turn right. F0 at home. This predates F0 by so many years. How does that work in your brain? <laughs> All these turns are pretty sick. F1, there's already a thing called F1. We're gonna get sued for copyright infringement. <laughs> we should do we should do an F1 stream. We could invite Pyronoid on. And then he could explain to me how Formula One works. And then I could just like completely not pay attention to anything that he says. I would be like, what are you saying? What accent is that? The winning time, 152, or 151. <laughs> Who is this owl on my stream? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Alright. Wow! Whoa, what was that? Hyperspeed! Did you see that shit? Okay, okay, okay. There's a weird remake of this released last year on Steam. That sounds pretty hype. Dude, Raycat showed me a sick looking racing game that I have to wish list on Steam. <laughs> it looks so cool. The name has already escaped me, but it looked fantastic. No, I wasn't Garfield Kart. That's probably the one, yeah, what Raycat posted. Star Speeder Steam? I gotta check that out. I'd be down for Star Speeder 2, are you kidding me? Red Lines OSD, you got it. I can bring I can I can bring that song back. Let me get out of this race first. Vector version of this. Dude, you know what we gotta do? We gotta do a Vectric stream. Dude. You're so right. <laughs> Goal in. Cool. I <laughs> like the way it comes in for a landing. Alright. Put the yellow line back. There's two songs playing at once. Alright, there we go. Now I'm ready to race. Time to beat 153, you got it.
Oh no! It looks like there's an insane wall penalty in this game. Like, if you bump into the wall, it forces your speed to drop down to its minimum before you can accelerate again. Oh, wait a minute, it's the car! Oh, that's what it is, it's those cars! We have to hit them or else it forces us to slow down. Okay, so the white screen happens when we press down. I don't know what that is. We pressed it down, the screen went white. The yeah, pacifist penalty, maybe. No, that car we were allowed to pass. So I'm not actually sure. Maybe it's because we bumped into the car. Maybe there was a speed penalty for like hitting him, for like bumping into him. Well, look at these turns. We actually have to, like, hit the brakes a little bit. That time we bonked into a wall. Yeah, no, it's just wall penalty then. Dude, the wall penalty in this game is rougher than in, in the initial D games. And I never thought I'd see a game with harsher wall penalty than initial D. Race three. This game rules. This one is awesome. <laughs> okay, so it seems like I get to do it once. You know, welcome to the fantasy course. There's still the adventure course, too. We have to try that out. Metal Max Howard! Thank you for the 29 all years. Yo, A to B. Vertexer, is that you? Vertexer, dude. I'm telling you, we gotta do a Vectric stream. Maybe we'll do that sooner rather than later. I've kind of talked myself into a Vectric stream. <laughs> I cannot accelerate. What is going on? Okay, there we go. I could not accelerate for a long time. Something I did penalized me. Yeah, no, this game's cool, dude. <laughs> this is one of the... This is one of the coolest ones we've seen today. The loop on the third game, unsurprisingly, whipped extremely hard. This one is also a standout, I think. I liked Niketsu Kung Fu Road a lot. I haven't played anything today that I haven't liked. Everything's been pretty good. Although, some of them are definitely danker than others. There have definitely been a few games for this console that had, like, a mysterious aura. <laughs> we did not clear... We didn't clear the time! No! We were too slow! Alright, let's try the other course. Let's try the adventure course. There, there's also competition A and B, which I assume is two-player. Maybe not? I'm not sure. Can I get some, uh... OST. Can I get, can I get, uh, can I get a silly little extended mix? Can I get, like, a? That'll do. I need some Ridge Racer going. That's all I really want.
Ooh. Easy does it. Name a better racing game soundtrack than Ridge Racer Type 4. You can't. Nobody can. Revolt, somebody shoot that guy. Lombi car, somebody shoot that guy. Shoot everyone who disagrees. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, Outrun's a racing game. Outrun, you're racing against the clock, though. You're not racing against anybody. Wouldn't shoot you twice, you're lucky I can't pause this machine. You're so lucky I would have done it for the bit so fast. <laughs> but I don't have a pause button over here. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Mr. Radon. Outrun is just a story of a, a, a racer who has a girlfriend in the passenger seat. And she is just slowly wondering about the company she keeps. Why does he drive like this? We almost died. Why is he like this? Why did he do the off-road trick? Why did he put two wheels in the dirt, switch gears just to get infinite speed for a little bit? He's insane. Why did he take that route? Why didn't he go through the flower field? You know what we gotta do at some point as well? While we're on the topic of, like, racing games, we gotta do the, uh, we gotta do the inevitable flip phone racing game stream. I'm sure that Lord Game Loft would come up several times during such a day. But there's also a lot of cool racing games for, like, flip phones. <laughs> we have to check those out. Lord Game Loft. I'd be down for that. Don't mind me just booking future streams live on stream. <laughs> Sometimes there's already a plan, and then other times the plan is made on, like, during the stream. Most recently this happened with the demo disc stream where we, uh, absolutely have to play Total Overdose. There, there's a certain guest I have to... There's a certain guest that is uniquely qualified to to sit in on that stream. <laughs> so we will have to recruit them and then play Total, Over, uh, play Total Overdose together. Racing Lagoon? I actually would love to stream Racing Lagoon. Right when it got translated into English, I had planned on playing it and then just things kept getting in the way. I'm sure we'll still get to it. I'm out of bullets. I'm out of fireballs. Okay, I learned that I have finite ammo. So many game. Saturn game with a mix of F1 and TRPG. Yeah, bullets cost five of the uh, the P gauge up there. It says 195 right now. If I fire a shot, now I'm at 190. So I do have finite bullets. Arma Joe stream. You know what's funny is that of all the like dank, like Mugen games we could play, Arma Joe is like the least obscure one. <laughs> 
It is still very good. And I'm sure a good quantity of people would be seeing it for the first time. But that one's definitely been done. What is this speed penalty? Help. There we go. Back up to full speed. Oh. Battle craze. Was that the DOS one? I might be thinking of something else. Oh, it's a new one, okay. I'm definitely thinking of something else. Yeah, the white flash should cost like 40. It puts you up to full speed though, instantaneously. It's very nice. It's like a turbo boost. I don't know if we're getting there in time. Goal in, we did. Cool. Cool, cool. Mugen fighter that had the cast of a Mexican TV to, uh, TV show. That's what Street Chavez. <laughs> Dude, Street Chavez was so good. They all had KOF moves, which enhanced my enjoyment of that game tenfold. While we were streaming that, though, like ten different people asked me if I was playing like the most recent version. Which communicates to me that that's not as obscure a game as I thought it was. Yo, Reg! License and registration. Uh oh. Sir, checks license and registration. Are you aware you were going 255 light years per hour <laughs> in the 70 light years zone while some Klingon birds of prey were in the quadrant shooting Starfleet ships? I'm sure it's fine. We could probably. We, we probably don't need to bring paperwork into this. We'd probably just... <laughs> El Chavo too popular in Latam for not to be popular. Speaking of things that are popular in Latin America, dude, when's the Saint Seiya stream? It's getting hard to read this road. Oh no! It's not looking good, fellas! <laughs> the two PS2 ones could now be retro. Everything's retro, depending on how old you want your chat room to feel. Oh my god, I think we just barely got there in time. Nice, nice, nice. Bloodborne came out nine years ago. Dude, Bloodborne coming out anytime, anytime soon for uh, PC. Dude, Bloodborne PC. It's about time we get another one of those rumors going. We have one consistently several times a year. It's about that time. It's, about, it's Bloodborne PC season, dude. <laughs> All right. Star Speeder, 10 out of 10. Oh, dude, we're in the sports section. We're in the sports. Super baseball. Let's go. I'm so ready. Whoops, that's the wrong button. Insert cartridge. Baseball. Epic TV game. The game promises bases and balls. I like what I'm seeing here. 
Push the select key. Okay. Amateur, pro. Give me an amateur game. Nine innings, right? <laughs> Schedule anything else to avoid an Ape Escape stream. Is that what I've been stalling on? Are you sure? <laughs> oh no, why'd I swing at that pitch? I'm a fool. I'm a buffoon. I swung at three pitches. Alright, fair enough. Damn, that one was a strike. Let's go! Ah, uh, that's a shame. Oh! Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, goot! This is a home run, guaranteed. Never mind, he didn't throw a strike. So we can't actually move the batter. The batter is frozen in place. All the fun of baseball without that stupid pitch clock and Let's go! permanently blowing their elbows out. I'm sorry, Reg. <laughs> I'm sorry for sorry for yelling over you. I got a home run. Thank you for the 100 bits. The pitch clock seems wise, actually. If you want a hot baseball take from me, the pitch clock seems like a smart idea, or else games just take a thousand years. Let's go, base hit! <laughs> Where did that second baseman come from? Not enough ad breaks, true. We'll play a few innings of this. Dino is swinging at pitches that nobody can be expected to hit. <laughs> oh! Shit! Alright. Now comes the hard part. How does fielding work in this game? Batting is easy in baseball video games. Fielding is not as easy. <laughs> oh! They actually run on their own. Take me out to the ball, me out with the me some peanuts and cracker don't care if I never get me root, root, root for the home they don't win it so it's one, two, three strikes, you're the old ball game. <laughs> what he said and what you wrote are just not the same <laughs> at all. He skipped so many words, dude. Why did he skip, <laughs> why did he skip so many words? <laughs> Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Thank you for the 100 bits. Okay, so I have good news. The fielding is automatic. All I have to do is choose what base to throw it to. The guy, they, they run by themselves. All the fielding is automatic. They're, they've solved the baseball video game conundrum of how do I field? Problem is, they don't seem very good at it. The fielding thing. That's a good question. Yeah, the uh, TTS probably munched on that sentence because there were, like, dots, so maybe they thought those were URLs. <laughs> maybe. That's all I can figure. All right, it's one to one. At the end of the first inning. Stakes are unbelievably high right now. Mm -hmm. Had a feeling that wasn't a strike. Oh, pop flight! What a bounce! I can't believe we got to first base. <laughs> they solved baseball, forgot how they solved it 30 years. Run to second, you fool! There we go. Oh no, I have to do the base running manually. They don't run on their own. <laughs> That's a problem. Mm. 
Nah, you gotta throw me a better pitch than that. Alright, fair enough. He threw me a better pitch. He's trying to get that guy at second base a lot. Alright, this is a three run home run. Guaranteed, check this shit out. Never mind. Never mind, I'm a fool. I'm a buffoon. You only get a base after four balls. It should be base ball, 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 ball. I can't disagree. Baseball to me seems like the kind of sport where you buy tickets to it without the intent of paying much attention. Take two. Take me out to the ball game. There you go. Take me out with the crowd. With the buy crowd. Me some peanuts and cracker jack. I don't care if I never get back. Let me root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out. At the old ball game. <laughs> Is bunting possible? That's a good question. We should try to bunt. Thank you for the 100 Cracker Jacks. I'm gonna try to bunt. Here I go. Let's do one more inning. Oh, looks, look at that. Looks like there's a bunt stance. Huh. Can I? Can I bunt? Oh, there is bunting! It was foul, though. What was the rule for bunting? Can't you strike out on a bunt if it's, like, out of bounds? Can't a foul bunt just be an out? <laughs> what was the rule? I don't remember. You bunt on two strikes and it's foul, you're out, okay. Oh! Let's go! We got a home run! Get a home run on a bunt? What the hell was in that bat, dude? <laughs> I'm gonna bunt to first base. Easy bunt, easy clap. Let's go! <laughs> Why did that work? I can't believe that worked. Check that man for steroids. Check, uh, check the bat. See if there's a cork in there. Well, we're up by one. Let's see if we can get out of this inning with no runs scored. We can just do a little three-inning game so we can check out the rest of these. Blurns ball. Oh no, what a bunt! I can't believe it. I can't believe this. Huh. High and inside. I won't lie, I tried to hit the batter. I tried very deliberately to hit the batter there, and they didn't let me. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> why, why didn't he catch it? Shit! Oh no. It's not looking good. It's not looking good, fellas. Wait. Wait, double play. Let's go! Alright, I'll consider that a dub. Just do a th little three-inning game. We won two to one, I'll take that. But there are, of course, other sports games. In the Super Sports Series for the Super Cassette Vision. We must play Super Golf. This is why I'm really here. This is what I came out to play today.
is a good tune. How much you want to bet when we start the game up there's no music and we have to put on, like, Neoturf? <laughs> I'm already queuing up the music, that's how sure I am. <laughs> One player. Oh. Yes, wind. Uh, just nine holes, please. Dude, what a shot. Oh, we're in. Yeah, okay. Cue up the Neo turf. If that video ever loads. It is 30 minutes long. Let's see, we got wind going left. Does that mean, if the wind is going left, does that mean this is a straight shot and it carries it? Or is it always left wind relative to the direction that I'm hitting it in? Like, if I aim here, will it curve left and not go in the ocean? It's only one way to find out. Oh, I'm in the drink! I cleared the drink! I can't believe I cleared the drink. Alright, we have to club down. Uh, let's go, like, 9-iron. Nice. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're on the green. I don't know how much juice I have to give this. Let's go! We got a par! I'll take a par. Let me turn this down a little bit. Wait, is there music? There is music for this bit. It's extremely quiet, though. Ugh. The music is extremely quiet, and then the beeps are extremely loud. Did NeoTurf get an official OST release? I... We could check... VGMDB? Let me see. Neo Turf Masters X. This album was pulled from distribution. Which means... I guess it was on Bandcamp? This is a Dojin soundtrack, though. This must be, like, arrangements, yeah. No, I don't think there's an official one. <laughs> it would be cool, though. You reg. Four. <laughs> Four. <no> green. <laughs> Four. Thank you. I guess I gotta aim it like here. Let's go like seven iron, full send. No, nine iron, full send. <laughs> yes. No. Wait, I'm on the green. That counts? I mean, if they're gonna give it to me, yeah, sure, fair enough. Oh, no. Now, even on the green, it's still showing me wind. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I put too much stank on that. Oh, God, the putting is impossible. Oh, no! All right, we're in. Oh, you found it on Archive, huh? Putting for aliens. I have no idea how to putt in this game. That's fair enough. All right. Can I full send this and just clear the water, maybe? I'm gonna try. 
Come on, baby. Clear that water, baby. I, uh... I, I hit a little too hard. I put a little too much juice on that. This is a par three, so all we have to do is sink this. Right? Oh my god, did it go in? Oh, no way! <laughs> yeah, okay. Good. It's just that easy. Okay, so this one is 339 meters. I can't believe that went in. I'll take that. I'm gonna regret this shot. I'm gonna regret this, I can already tell. Oh, no. Okay. That ain't the worst. That could have been worse. Give me, like, a three iron? Oh, nice! Wait, birdie chance! Now, here's the problem. Here's the problem with this birdie chance. This looks like it's going straight down, which looks like it's going right past the hole. And this diagonal line looks like it's going past the hole the other way. Neither of these are pointed at the hole. <laughs> so it's like, what do I do? I guess we just die. We just pick one and then we die. Ah. Oh. Fair enough. Oh no! Putting is impossible! Wait. Heh. There we go. We got there. What is this? You pray the green is sloped. The problem is they don't tell me. If there's any... If there's any, like, break to read on the green, the game does not notify you at all. What are we doing? Are we doing driver again out of the sand? This is a bad idea. Let's do it. All right, bad club choice. I understand. Wind carry the ball. Oh no! Wait. Okay, we're alive. Yeah, <laughs> it's a par five. Easy bogey putt. Never mind. Never mind, I'm a liar. We're in another situation where both of these, like, both of these arrows look wrong. <laughs> this looks like it clears it left. This looks like it clears it right. Oh, thank God. They gave it to me. Yo, can I get the, uh, can I get some, can I get some Germany theme? That's what I really want. Let's see here. This one is 152 meters, which means if we full send this with the driver, it's going into the fucking ocean. So we gotta, like, three iron this or something. Hey, look at that! Proper club choice! Oh, oh! Wow, I put that a lot harder than I thought. Oh, you know what? I have the three irons selected. I have to manually switch to your putter. That's where I fucked up.
Easy putt. No! Oh, no. It's not looking good. Yeah, I three-ironed it on the green. Am I taking crazy pills, or does this ball just, like, not... Is there a lid on the hole? What's going on? There it goes. <laughs> Did somebody put a lid on it? What happened? <laughs> oh, look at the little bridge. <laughs> I love the little bridge. I'm gonna clear this water. Here I go, I'm gonna clear the ocean. Oh. Thank God. Oh my God, are we on the green in one? How was I meant to know it would drift right there? I think you just experiment when you putt. I think you just experiment and then it just goes wherever. There we go. I'll take a par. You just need to guess better. We really do. You're not even wrong. Are we go like five wood here? Please don't hit a tree, thank god. I'm in the sand. I'm ruined. I'm finished. Sand wedge. Full send. I'm gonna regret full power. Never mind. Okay. Alright. Guaranteed. Guaranteed sinking this putt. I may have lied. I may have given you false information, and I deeply apologize. Alright, ninth hole. <laughs> I think it might have it might have bounced off the flag. You know what? We're only five over par. I thought we'd be doing so much worse. Oh, no. No! Hey. Wait a minute. This ain't the worst. Yeah, take a bath, idiot. Oh, that almost went in. Let's go. Actually, wait. I thought I was five over par. We're, uh, we're ten over par. <laughs> it's 36. 36 strokes for the front nine. We shot 46. We were ten over par. <laughs> That's not that bad. That's okay. If I were golfing in real life, it would have been much worse. It would have been 5,000 strokes. So, comparatively speaking... I didn't go that bad. <laughs> soccer! Immediate smash cut to super soccer. Look at them go. How do I engage the video game? Push the select key. I'm trying, don't you worry. I'm working on- oh, there we go. <laughs> Yellow ball, don't worry about it. Okay. Oh, I get to choose who I got. Looks like we're up against Great Britain. Who do we got in here? USA, Brazil, Argentina, FRG, where do where were that's is that French? That, that doesn't sound right. Where would this be? Italy, 
Holland, perhaps? France? USSR? Japan? French Guiana? Maybe. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Federal German? Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Now nah, we gotta go USA, baby. You know, the United States, who famously are very good at soccer. <laughs> famously, very good at this sport. They win all the world championships. <laughs> oh, that's me. Oh, it's me. I have the ball. Okay. Okay, I'm driving. Cool. During the Cold War, this is 85. Yeah. Give me that ball. Give me that. Oh my god, what a juke! I tried to kick it in. I couldn't quite get there. Oh, this game feels pretty nice, actually. They keep sliding into me, so I get free kicks. Problem is, I don't really know how to kick. <laughs> oh no, they took it! Give me that. The ball is mine! Oh my goodness! Bro, my handles are too nasty. Take it. Take it. I got a goal. Wait, we got it again? Wait, I'm on a tear? I hit the ball out of bounds. I'm a fool. I'm a buffoon. <laughs> That's the sound it makes when a soccer ball is in flight. Famously. It is very easy to do crossovers in this game. <laughs> oh, I found the jump button on defense. So on defense, I have a jump button and a slide button. Oh, <gasps> give me that ball back. Okay. What was that 2D, like, fighting game, soccer game that's on Steam? I gotta play that at some point. Oh no! 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 Okay, went over the net. World Fighting Soccer 22, that sounds right. Yeah, no, dude, it's like a- it's a completely 2D plane, and it's like a soccer game with, like, smash controls. <laughs> it's pretty sick. Micro Pros Soccer? No. I've never played it. I feel like if I were to play, like, uh, like an old soccer game, it would have to be Sensible Soccer. Because the title of that game makes me laugh. I just, I love when my video games are sensible. I love when my games are firmly on the rails. I'm sure it's a good game, it's just the title is the funniest thing I've ever heard. Love playing sane and normal soccer. That's what they should have called it, they should have called it normal soccer. <laughs> What a catch! Dude, my goalie's insane. Alright, I got the ball. Oh, I'm driving. I'm driving to the net, baby! Catch me if you can! No! 
No! I think I understand why soccer games usually have like one to like one to zero at the end. <laughs> it seems extremely hard to score. <laughs> I get it. It is a lovely shade of green, if nothing else. Oh no. Oh no, where's my goalie? No! This is a disaster. Dude, we can't lose to Great Britain. They're gonna put all the U's back in the words that we took the U's out of. You're gonna hold it against me if they force you to learn the metric system. I have a traitorous American opinion. Uh, I actually think the metric system is way better and makes way more sense. I understand that they're gonna deport me to Europe for saying that, but like... It makes way more sense to me. <laughs> Does this mean if we win, we have to take the U out of their words? We already do that. We don't use any of those letters. We already- we took the U's out of all the words! <gasps> what a goal! How'd they grab that? That's insane! Oh my goodness, they're crazy. We scored one goal on them, and then they woke up. <laughs> it was going so well at the start, and then they're like, nah, I'd win. I have a very nebulous grasp on the time scale here. This game runs on, like, Marvel 3 seconds. Where it just makes no sense. I think that entire possession, it was at 13 and then 12. Alright, we're only down by three goals. This is very easy to recover from. Holy shit! That's an insane kick. Alright, so it's looking like we're gonna lose by about 25 goals. Oh no. I looked over, the chat's talking about Ronald Reagan's, like, political policies. I'm begging you to talk about anything else. Oh, wait! Ah, it's shame. Another interstate playthrough, true. Oh, that's good timing. A poem got redeemed. Let's play out the rest of this half. There's uh, six seconds left in the half, which translates to about five minutes from the look of it. Oh no. 
It seems like standing in front of the ball is not enough to catch it. There must be a button where we have to manually catch the ball. There must be like a manual catch button. Yo, these handles! Shit! Ooh, ooh! We got a free kick. I'll take that. <laughs> you have five seconds left. These are the slowest seconds in the world. Draco's on. I'm about two seconds away from shooting you for having to get the last word on a topic I've already steered you away from. I'm like two seconds away from shooting you. All right, let's hit that stampede button. Pretty safe to say that we lost this soccer game. Super soccer seems like an impossible game for aliens. Let's hit the stampede button. Hey, Stampede, how about a poem? I stand here in this vast court, subject to the stars, alone and small, yet somehow central, watched. So much is beyond my grasp. I have only this thin sand to clutch and these dry twigs to snap between otherwise empty fingers. The fire-dotted sky is far and not far. I am here and not here. I have wandered on these feet far, and so now must rest. Paths girdle the world, you said, but no path can take me to you. Mm, yes, one of the greatest vibes of a poem he's got in his arsenal. Remind Stampede to hydrate. I should hydrate. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> what else we got in here? What else do we got in this bad boy? Which emulator do I run this on? Ah, uh, yes, the one that's already open. Let's play some Ton Ton Ball! What is Ton Ton Ball? I have no earthly idea. The demo's not given me a whole lot of information. <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you. <laughs> now, yeah, what are we looking at? Even I don't know. Player 1, EXE, AMA, and Pro. We've had amateur and pro difficulties all day. EXE is new. I have no idea what that would be. I'm gonna press it. <laughs> Expert. Right. Right, we're punching pigs. Oh! Oh, that one scored! Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it, I get it. Off the streamer gets it. <laughs> okay. The <laughs> pigs in pens. I figured it out. Okay, so you're... There's no, like, enemies in this game, which means you're up against that timer. The timer readout is also quite... quite odd. <laughs> looks like we just have to... Looks like we just have to get them all in there as quickly as possible. Eh, 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 eh. Oh. You get back. You get back over here. Oh my god, what a shot! 
Chan is pork? Ah, I see, I see, I see. Eh, eh. Get in there. Eh, eh. Huh. Not quite. I'm struggling with this last one. It's in no man's land. I gotta go around, because I'm in the way. Yes. There we go. <laughs> this is a very mysterious game. Scene two. Extremely mysterious game. Oh, okay. Wait, can fancy with it. Oh, maybe it is baby difficulty with no enemies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, now that we know how the game is played, you're right. Let's let's check. Let's check. Let's check. Amateur. Let's see if there's enemies now. Maybe we did have it on baby mode. There are enemies. Yeah, okay. We had it on baby mode. <laughs> you can shoot pigs at them. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, they don't die, though, when they get hit by a pig. <laughs> they just get angry. We inconvenience them, and they get mad about it. Help. Help. Oh, no. Oh, you got me in a box here, sir. Whew. This game is sick. This game rules so far. Yeah, me when I fucking get you. Why aren't there more games like this? Why isn't there an entire, like, pig-kicking genre? Is it because of PETA? Yeah, probably. You're probably right. What is that sound? Oh, that's just the sound of, like, when they get hit. Oh! Nice angle! Okay. Oh, no. How am I gonna get this one out of here? Cool. Okay. Yes! I'm cooking. It's bouncing every wrong way. Oh, wait a minute. That's not that helpful over here. It's not that helpful in this corner. I need you out of this corner. I need you anywhere else. Eh. 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 Pig stuck. Eh. Let's go. Very mysterious game, but I like it. Extremely odd game. This game is pretty cute, but so difficult. I'm contemplating hitting my Jazzy Jeff button, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Kaku Epsilon, for the 100 puns! <laughs> Modern remake provide a story? We don't need a story for Tun Tun Ball. Yo, Brybens, thank you for the 232 whole years. 
Oh, those, okay, those are like teleporters. Right. Eh, eh, just need to nudge it this way. Heh. What's ball about this? I assume that the pigs are round. Right? They're just like orbular pigs. And we're just like pushing them for some reason. Now imagine that this is like Sokoban. <laughs> Except instead of boxes, it's all just really fat round pigs. Y'all, thanks for dropping in. Thank you for the 232 whole years, friend. Oh, it's a mess! Eh. <laughs> the billiard break, it really was. We could do a billiard stream. If only so I have an excuse to play Virtual Pool for the PS1, which has the most nonsensical theme song I've ever heard in my whole life. It's called Black Ball. And it's just this guy rocking out, trying way too hard to make pool sound cool. <laughs> you reg! Tum tum ball, it's what's for dinner for gamers. <laughs> the gamers. Swimming pools are pretty cool, I agree. Hey, 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 that's my ton ton ball. How dare you? Yo, sissy blade! Eh, eh, eh. There we go. Now we just gotta get all the rest of them down at the bottom somehow. I don't know how I'm gonna manage that. One of them's right next to the pen. One of them is right there. We just have to nudge it in. There we go. There we go. Just get in there. Let's go, dude. I kind of love this game. I've kind of fallen in love with Ton Ton Ball. Yo, thank you for the 40 whole years, Sissy Blade. I appreciate it. Happy to see you, friend. Do those slot machines work? Oh, they do! Yeah, 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 yeah! Finally. Somehow we ended up at gambling. I knew. I knew we'd get there. Somehow, some way. <laughs> Banned in Europe. It's okay, we can win back the Euro audience by playing, like, Football Manager. Or, like, uh, like, a uh, Wall Street Kid or something. Secret Bellatro stream. Dude, I've been in the Bellatro mines for... for days. It's unfortunately the greatest game ever made. It's just a really fun time. And I'm not even, like, a big roguelike guy. You put hundreds of hours into Football Manager every year. That's, I mean, that's fine. Everyone's got their thing. I'm definitely not judging people for what they play. Especially the kind of shit we play on this stream. <laughs> Are you kidding me? On what grounds do I have to judge? Oh! 
I'm liking that the stages are getting silly. The stages are getting real goofy. And I'm into it. Problem is, how do I get into those corners way over there? Wait. Wait, this is good. This is good. Eh, eh, let's get in there. How many left? Two left. I'm in, I've fallen in love with Ton Ton Ball. <laughs> this game is cool. I like this game a lot. Catharsis of the billiard break at the start of every stage. Mm. Help, pig stuck. Okay, they're both in, like, really bad corners, and we need to fish them out of there somehow. Hit! <laughs> Almost? Shit! Oh, no. <laughs> now they're both in no man's land. Let's get down there. Let's get... No, just get down there, dog. No. Is this what it's like? Herding animals in real life? Is this what it's like? Where there's just- they just don't listen? Ah, shit. Alright, fair enough. A few of these games I've felt the same way, uh, Justin. Some of these feel like they could be arcade games. That's partially down to just the simplicity of them. But also some of them have like, uh... <laughs> that kind of a hop in real quick and play for like a few minutes nature. Most of the games on here have been extremely short form, with the exception of Dragon Slayer, which we'll get to on a different platform at some point. me. My pigs, they're just going wherever. <laughs> what do you mean he didn't go in? You get your ass in there right now. Okay. Alright, we're back. Eh, 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 eh. Eh, eh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, God, it's impossible. This stage is the wall, brother. Yeah, pig, pig stuck. It is hard to unstick the pig. Cool, nice. Greasing it. I don't know if that'll help us. 
I feel like we need them to move, they have to move less. They're moving too much, if anything. You gotta bank them in. You gotta bank shot that shit. Oh no. Oh god, that's not quite what I wanted. Wait, we're back? Okay. Eh, eh. Easy does it. Cool. One pig left. One pig separating this run from total victory. Oh no. <laughs> That's not where I wanted that to go. Help. Help, pig stuck. Wait. Wait a minute. Oh, kind of a helpful bounce. Let's go! We did it. Good. Scene seven. Nah, we don't got time for all that, unfortunately. We have been streaming for like six hours. Uh, that's pretty much like all the time we have, really. <laughs> Six hours is about what I had today. We got to as many games as we could. Thank you. Let's get out of here. Let's get up out of here. We played as many as we had time for. Thank you all for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the Super Cassette Vision stream. There's probably a few more games that we'll have to get back around to, if I can get them working. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, YY Monster Land is obviously one of them. That game, actually, I couldn't get running that well, if Thank I'm you. being honest. But, uh, let's see who else is on. Who's, uh, Welcome streaming? Where can we go? Yo, Suzuki, thank you for the follow. Looks like BBH is on. Looks like Duke is on. Thank you. Gary's playing Pizza Tower. I never raid... Thank you. Duke thank Donuts. You. I haven't gotten to raid Duke in ages. So thank you for tuning in, everyone. Thank you for sticking around. I will see you all on Wednesday Day with other things. Throw scoots at Duke Donuts. If you don't got scoots, throw rack attacks at him. I'll see you all on Wednesday for something else. Something different. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye!